Oh God, please, no, 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 no! Alright, so I guess we gonna act like um I guess we gonna act like everything that we do is supposed to be honored because we are Sharon, right? But we supposed to be serving a God and a power, Allah Hayyam, that actually is worthy of Every single praise, honor, and glory that anybody can ever accumulate up. We can all, every Israelite in the world, come with sincere heart and give all our honor to him. And it still would not be enough. So what makes us think that somebody else that supposedly came from him, it, it don't matter how y'all try to put a doctrine, whatever religion. Hey, he, came after, he came after him, but then he going to pass all his glory and praises to, to someone else. It's like y'all don't understand. Hold on, give me a second. All right. Watch this. First Samuel 12 and 20. And Samuel said unto the people, Fear not, ye have done all this wickedness, yet turn not aside from following Yahweh. But serve Yahweh with all your heart, and turn ye not aside for them. Uh, for then, should you go after vain things, which cannot profit nor deliver, for they are vain. And then he says, in twenty-two, for Yahweh will not forsake his people for his great name's sake. But we keep constantly and constantly and constantly. Every time you turn around, or oh, Bahashem this in the name of this when those things can't walk can't talk can't see when when shit go down those idols get knocked down get carried away took it to captivity with the people it's the same thing that happened you know what i'm saying so if you think at for one second that you could just keep uh you know, it's like y'all on some like witchcraft type. I am new age type stuff because y'all think like if I give all of it to it and I and it makes me feel good, then it's not in vain. But I don't I don't see that. I see a God that made us, shaped us, chose us created the wind, created the sea, gave the bottom of the sea a name, all of that, right? But I'm supposed to take all of that glory and all of that ma 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 uh, majesty that he did and give the praises and the, uh, uh, to, a, to something that ain't here right now. That's not it, man, at all. So, let me see. What is that script? Let me see. Okay. Y'all got something to say why I find this your Y'all introduce yourself too. Yo, 
Shalom. My am Baruch. Shalom. It's JD or Yon Dunn. You know, serving at the most high. All right, so I do have something to say to add on to what you said regarding this First uh, Samuel chapter 12, right? He's saying he's always going to do it for his name's sake because it pleased him to make us his people, right? It's never about us. And, and we're just like, we're just flesh and dust. You know, we're just, we're just pieces of dust. It, it says that he created Adam out of the clay. And even it says that in Ezekiel 36, where he's saying he has pity for his set apart name, which the house of Yashra had profaned among the heathen. Therefore, I'm not going to gather you for your sake, O house of Yashra, but for his Kadash namesake, which you have profaned among the heathen where you went. So it's always going to be for his namesake. Exactly. Of course, of course, you know, like we, there are times where we will like be in competition with one another, you know, when it comes to scripture and all that, like we're not, we're not made to be in strife with one another, especially with all this man and woman war going on and yeah, the tour all the verses, you know, messianics and all that, like we're not made to strife with one another, but we will check y'all, for y'all wickedness, whether if it's breaking the commandments being an idolatry and all that, like, you will. We're trying to sharpen each other up, you know? Right, man. Yes. And, and, and like Isaiah 58, uh, my brother JD and I, like, we've experienced this where someone, all right, Isaiah 58, 3 says, why have we fasted, they say, and the Most High does not see? Why have we afflicted our soul and you take no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast, you find pleasure and exact all your labors. And behold, you fast for strife and debate and to smite with the fist of wickedness. And so there is a person uh, where my brother here and I, like we experienced, they were like literally saying, oh, y'all never fasted for three weeks. So you have nothing to say to me. And it's just like, yo, come on, man. Like, yeah. what? You know, this is another thing that I got a problem with. I don't understand how our people just come up out of the woodworks with some weird, with, with some ag uh, accusations that you don't even have in front of you. You tell them your how is one. They tell you that you in idolatry. Like what? What? You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But that goes right back to what you just brought up. They, you fast for strife and debate. That's what these these, these people look, man. I, I like in the in the Israelite community. One thing I do know is it's it is confrontational, and that's why most people fall back. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of time when it comes to people with Torah only, we get the real. You know what I'm saying? The real backlash because we're not really trying to be well, not well. Some of us. Not really trying to be like really debating people and stuff like that. We're just trying to bring it out to you and hopefully you accept it, right? But you have these camps and stuff, especially these camps. You And they're the biggest target because they got the most followers. Yeah, they all the same, you know what I'm saying, entity. So they got all of these millions, probably trillions of followers. And you go up to their panel and you just want to dialogue about the scriptures and about that book and how there's, you know what I'm saying, there might be some things that we need to consider. And now they want to make it into a debate and they want to have strife about it. They want to bring name calling in, all this other stuff, you know what I'm saying? And they show you like, that's some type of spell. It's the same thing when you can find Esau. You, 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 say, you, you say too much smart shit in front of Esau, he going to start turning red. Before you know it, he going to want to attack you. Yeah, man. And and not only that, but when people are trying to debate and they like want you on their own platform, I haven't heard of some people kind of manipulating that. And it's like muting one like the person who's speaking, they're muting their mic or like not giving them a, enough time or even to the point where it's like the other person isn't even trying to listen to understand. You know, it's just it's just rebuttals. And when when in reality, that person who is speaking is speaking the truth. Like I, I, I've always said to like uh, Yon Dunn and I, we've been saying for like the past year, like we shouldn't be debating. You know, we can just have a conversation if we disagree on something. 
then okay but but one thing we should not disagree on is what the father said he said it in the scripture very plain and if if you're like if you're like truly serious about this you also try to figure out what it's saying in the original language even though we have a kind of polluted masoretic text we're still trying to figure it out you know ask the ask the creator for wisdom knowledge and understanding like like he said to like solomon did all right all right we're we're we gotta think like what would y'all say or what did y'all say when it comes to the scriptures and i'm and it's, i'm seeing a lot of when it comes to these camps when it comes to these people where if it's sakari or iuic with all these camps and they have this idol up and they say this is yahawashai or this is uh yahusha or whatnot like like and y'all say y'all keep torah but y'all y'all do realize y'all breaking the first two commandments like <laughs> yeah like i have an image of this Melanated guy with woolly white hair and a woolly white beard and all that, looking like some type of Power Ranger, superhero, Marvel superhero, whatnot. And y'all saying y'all keep Torah? That's that's a lot of hypocrisy coming from that, you know. All right, so Micah chapter four verse five. Can you pull that up for me? All right. Mm-hmm. Micah Hold four. My, Micah four. Let me let me uh. Let me read this real fast because I'll get stuck in because I I slip off. All right. Isaiah 45 and 20. Assemble yourselves and come. Draw near together. You that are escaped of the nations. They have no knowledge. They have no knowledge. They set up the wood of their graven image and pray with a pray unto a God that cannot save. We got this. It's like I think I might I might I might be wrong. But I think like they probably in these camps drill into the people head. There is. um, It's always the idol right there with the most high always. But my thing is, we think we can have something unclean and defiled amongst us and good things come out when we go back into what was it like judges? Um when you know they're they're supposed to be taking the not taking the spoil of the enemy that they just destroyed and here they go a, a family of Yahweh, of course a brother he didn't you know what i'm saying took the enemy stuff wanted to try to hide it bury it and stuff like that and all type of stuff going on and we're wondering why it's because we got something cursed amongst us you know what i'm saying and it cannot save us at all it that's why we still in the predicament that we in yeah man you said Micah 4 yeah Micah chapter 4 verse 5 uh-huh. for all the people it walk, says, everyone for in all the name. people oh my bad go ahead now go ahead right, if you want go ahead all right all right for all people they will walk everyone in the name of his mighty one and we will walk in the name of Yahuwah our power forever and ever so everyone be like Bashem Yahawashai or Bashem Yusha or in the name of uh, J-E-S-U-S. But as for us, we're going to walk in the name of Yahuwah, our power. I got another one for this. Uh, go to Zechariah 10. So the, the salvation that we're taught through churches and camps... Uh, is like strange you know uh i'm gonna start at uh, verse eight i will hiss for them and gather them for i have redeemed them and they shall increase as they have increased right because the, the father said be fruitful and multiply and we see how Jacob literally had 12 sons so they will increase as they have increased and then i will sow them among the people and they shall remember me in far countries and they shall live with their children and turn again and i will bring them again out of the land of Mitzrayim and gather them out of Ashur and I will bring them into the land of Gilead and Lebanon and place shall not be found for them meaning you know we're going to be so fruitful that there's like not enough space for us sometimes and he shall pass through the sea with affliction and shall smite the waves in the sea and all the deeps of the river shall dry up and the pride of Ashur shall be brought down and the scepter of Mitzrayim shall depart away and I will strengthen them in Yahuwah and they shall walk up and down in his name says Yahuwah so right 
they again, it's not Bashem Yahushai, it's, it's in the name of the Almighty Creator of heaven and earth, Al Al Yon, the Most High. Only. Like there's no more nails. For sure. Let me get this Jeremiah real fast. Jeremiah 2. Jeremiah 2. Watch this. It says, Thus says Yahweh, What iniquity have your fathers found in me? <laughs> that wow. What iniquity have your fathers found in me? With that, that goes right back to every time you turn around, are people trying to find some type of perverseness, trying to trying to see some type of uh false judgment in Yahweh? Oh well, no, it can't be this because this happened. What they took this from us, and it did, we can't do this. But what iniquity have your fathers found in me that they are gone far from me and have walked after vanity and are become vain? I don't get how people don't understand. If you if you got a problem with with your hour, then you got a problem with what thus says your hour. If he say, if he tell you to walk in my ways, why is you going to a book that's going to tell you, I know that you heard this, but I say unto you this. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. He said, he said, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. But then that book is telling you, uh, Barack, your enemies and, you know, pray for those who persecute you. Like, man, uh, the brother, um, Hawk Raven Ruach. I saw he just when I woke up today uh, on the Shabbat and I, I looked at his like community post and there is a photo of the christening of the black race. And it's like, so we're supposed to barack yeah. those people who, who persecute us like hell not, nah, bro. That's nah. the doom diversus. They got us in perpetual slavery. Yeah, I yeah, uh I could put that up like I think it was like two days ago, I think, if I'm not mistaken. They be they be trying to post people stuff late. I been had that post out. And and it's weird because wait a minute. Let me look up the word. Let me let me see some of this. Guys. Hold on. Damn, what I was just looking up. I might just be bugged out. Damn, I gotta go back to this scripture, I think. I forgot what I was looking up. Um Damn, I, what you just said, bro? I was I was talking about uh one of the brothers I saw he posting something about the christening of the black race. Yeah, there we go, christening. That's what I was looking for. What is this? Since everybody keep talking about, oh, are we saving the blood, blood of Christ, blood of Christ? Okay. Given a Christian name at baptism. A Christian sacrament signifying spiritual cleansing and rebirth. That's it. I mean, look, look, I, I, I'm going to tell y'all something, bro. In their eyes, that's what they did to us, bro. You see what I'm saying? A christening is that way well, it's weird because they try to make it sound like it's a good thing. You feel what I'm saying? Right. But but we all know what where's the uh, let me see. Can I go to YouTube? I don't wanna I don't wanna do that because I'm gonna fuck up some shit. I wish I could go to his comment. I mean to his post so you can see what actually is a, a cry a christening. But you know what that means though. That means when they came and got us they gave us different names they whatever they did to us that was christ that was christian and whatever it is you know what i'm saying yeah they took out yeah and how and how it like mentions baptism in that de definition that you pulled up you know that's so false 
like dunking a baby in water or dunking yourself in water and acting like you got this, you know, this H O L Y spirit that comes on you. Which, if you look up H O L I, that same pronunciation, like that's the Indian deity. <laughs> um, but really, like the true immersion of water is mentioned in Ezekiel thirty six twenty five. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 24. I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all the countries and will bring you into your own land. Then I will sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness. From all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart I will give you and a new ruach I will put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and I will give you a heart of flesh. And then I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you shall keep my judgments and do them. So, you know, people thinking like, this is this is a what's that called reverse theology because this is what the most high said and it still hasn't happened yet because we're you know we're in captivity we're not in our land and i can also bring up jeremiah 31 regarding the new covenant people think that whatever jc yahweh i did is a renewed covenant but when we look at jeremiah 31 31 Behold, the days come, says Yahweh, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Yashra and with the house of Yehuda, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Mitzrayim, which my covenant they broke, although I was a husband unto them, says Yahweh. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Yashra. After those days, says Yahweh, I will put my Torah in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their mighty one, and they shall be my people, and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, No, Yahweh, for they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them, says Yahweh, for I will give their iniquity, and I will remember their transgression no more. So, you know, why are these idols saying, I mean, these idolaters saying that, oh, JC did the renewed covenant, but in the renewed covenant, it's saying no one's going to have to teach anyone about the creator anymore. Like, here we are sitting here telling people, you know, you got to come back to Sanak only and, and keep the commandments, you know, keep keep the creator's commandments that he wrote with his own finger and he gave it to Moshe, who gave it to the children of Yasharal. We're sitting here saying no Yahuwah, right? But but he's saying they will all know me in the future. And so that therefore, like the renewed covenant still hasn't come. Ezekiel 36 and Jeremiah 31 is on is in the process of happening. And 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 that's just our, our evidence of, of like the new testament not being the renewed covenant not being a uh yeah not being a new covenant all right and on top of that the book of leviticus the book the, the, the book of leviticus debunks the new testament because why would the creator send a man not a limb a man to die for our iniquities See, they'll say it's a parable. Oh, it's it's a parable. It's a metaphor. It's a, like whatever. But it says in the biggest. Hold on, let me find the scripture. I believe it's the biggest. Like, because it's a lamb sacrifice, but he came out as a man, not no lamb. Pull up real quick. I have my book out. Um, and you know, I, why you get that? I wanted to get, uh, get a precept for that Jeremiah thirty-one, thirty-one that Uck had brought out, and it wanted I want it because it wanted I want to see how show how we need to actually fear Yahweh. We need to actually take consideration of what we what we're doing. It says, Jeremiah 32 and 40. And I will make them, I will make with them an everlasting covenant that I will turn not, that I will not turn away from doing good to them. And I will put the fear of me in their hearts that they may not turn from me. That's exactly where we're supposed to be getting to. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah, Our man. Sons, Leviticus. Four, verse thirty-two. All right. If you and if you should bring a lamb for an iniquity offering, you should bring it a female without blemish. A female without blemish. A female without blemish. 
and they talking about JC is the lamb sacrifice. And that's complete BS. Like, that's not true. Without blemish. And on top of that, without blemish. So like that, the idol's gone. Like that, the idol's gone. Because, and there's scripture talking about no man shall die for another, another man's iniquity. I believe it's in Deuteronomy somewhere. Let me pull it up. Deuteronomy 24.16. Yeah, Deuteronomy 24.16. The fathers shall not be put to death for the children, neither shall the children be put to death for their fathers. Every man shall be put to death for his own iniquity. Again, it makes no sense for this Jebus, Yahusha, Yahawashai idol to be to be ransomed for everyone's iniquity. It makes no sense. And it's Ezekiel 18, Ezekiel 33 as well. Right. Ezekiel 18. My bad, my bad, y'all. I was just in here doing my own little thing. I was showing, trying to show people other precepts for that as well. Right, right. Now nah, we on the same page, bro. <laughs> Let me see. So, hold on. Where where was we at? You put in Ezekiel eighteen. Yeah, Ezekiel eighteen. All right. See, yeah, see. I, my my bad. I'm, I told y'all I'm over here on some whole other shit. Let me see. Ezekiel eighteen, two, verse twenty. That soul. All right, it says Ezekiel eighteen twenty. The soul that sins, it shall die. The son that not that shall not bear the iniquity of the father neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son the righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him but if the wicked will be turned from all his sins that he shall that he had committed and keep all my statues and do that which is lawful and right he shall surely live he shall not die it's common sense bro mm -hmm. exactly Go oh, ahead, if you, you want to elaborate on that. Uh, on top of that, like, I see, I'm hearing all these idolaters talk about without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of iniquity, which is complete and utter BS. Came from the verse we just read, right? If a, but the wicked will turn from all his iniquity, that he's committed and keep all my statutes and do that which is lawful and right he shall surely live and not die that will tell you right there we don't need no sacrifice well oh, no no i no i but how you how you atone for your sins hey, the, book Sirach, the book of sirach also says alms giving as well is how you can atone so imagine you went from gang banging and and you know stealing from people and doing a lot of drugs to now like st like clean off the streets and you give to the poor you know that's mm -hmm. that's what the most high is looking for you care for the orphan you care for the widow but i'm looking for the priest you you uh you said it's the rock it's some um I'm looking for let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna look for it one second. No, I, I ain't looking for the rock. I don't read up possible, but nothing oh, wrong okay. with it. I know I would. I got I got scripture for y'all. So it's first Samuel. All right, first Samuel. 15 verse 22 yes sir rebellion right, verse 22 and samuel says as yahweh has great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice as in obeying the voice of yahweh 
Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. It's right there, y'all. It's really right there in scripture. Yahweh does not care for any lamb sacrifices, yet we see people now in, in these messianic communities, these camps, sacrificing lambs and all that. And yet they believe in this idol. They keep they keep they're doing all these little feast days and all that unlawfully while they're not in the land. Doing a fashion show Passover. Fashion show <laughs> Passover, like is all this outrageous stuff. Holding holding uh vending vending sessions and all type of stuff, bro. Exactly. Man, I don't know. Like it shows you right there, like these people, like they're stuck in the New Testament. They're all about their idol. They're not about Yahweh. They hate the Creator, bro. Well, that's hold on. Let me, uh, that's that that got something to do with how they. Well, actually, it's this right here. You got you you just read twenty two, uh -huh. right? But twenty three is telling you, and that's why I yeah. always you not. Know, when I uh, encounter these people, I wind up saying shit like you trying to you trying to you trying to be in witchcraft or you trying to pull some witchcraft because you rebelling against your bro. All right. It says for rebellion is as the sin is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness right. is as iniquity and, re and and idolatry. So you want to you 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 think oh yeah you know I'm just I'm, you gonna be stiff neck and say after. Because most of the time, when I, when the truth is actually brought to you, ain't no denying it whatsoever. You just gotta make the decision: Are you gonna submit to Yahweh, or are you gonna? No, I'm gonna do my own thing. What is that, Jeremiah? Where they was like, "Are we gonna do whatever come out of our own mouth?" Let me see. I think it's Jeremiah. Why do I think it's 44? Um, hold on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it, yeah. Um, yeah, it go right. Jeremiah 44 and start at 16. As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of Yahweh, we now I'm gonna go up some. I'm gonna start at uh 14. Jeremiah 14 and 40, I mean 44 and 14, so like, So that none of the remnant of Yahweh which are gone into the land of, e of Egypt to sojourn there shall escape or remain that they should turn or return into the land of Yahweh to the which they have a desire to return to dwell there for none shall return but they say for none shall return but such as shall escape verse uh, 15 then all the men which knew that knew that their lot their wives had burned incense unto the other gods or idols and all the women that stood by a great multitude even all the people that dwelt in the land of egypt and pathros answered jeremiah saying as for the word that you have spoken unto us in the name of yahweh we would not hearken unto you, but we would surely do whatsoever thing that go forth out of our own mouth that's that's it right there they literally that's why i be fucking it be messing me up man um, because it's right there in the scriptures and then you go encounter one of your people and they do that and you like is this shit real bro it is definitely witchcraft uh pull up psalm 16 4 the blood <laughs> Yeah, their, their sorrow shall be multiplied that hasten after another mighty one and their drink offerings of blood will I not offer nor take up their names into my lips. So, you know, the idol is saying if you got to eat my flesh and drink my blood. But the most high is saying their drink offerings of blood. I'm not I'm not I'm not going to offer it or like he's not going to accept it, basically. And and also he said not to eat the blood anyway. So what kind of like what kind of a righteous prophet if this guy was 
supposed to be a righteous prophet or the creator in the flesh who's supposed to be the fulfillment of the of the law right why is he using the analogy of something that the creator himself deemed wicked you know don't drink the blood it's the life in it so pour it out into the earth that's that that ain't um hey and then on top of that you know when you really think about it it's like so why is it esau right it like i, I ain't, i'm not here for all of that but why is it esau which whoever esau is he got to fit the characteristics he like to have he like to you know have rare meat all, all of that you know what i'm saying God, he just got a he just bloodthirsty e either way it go. So why is it we get into this Greek text and they so a gun hold on blood, blood and spit? Yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ew, bro. And, Imagine be being a blind of, man. Imagine being a blind man. You got like some some dudes alive all over your eyes, and then you wake up to it. What is that? Disgusting. Yeah, come on. Talking about hey, look. They talk about oh, and he's seen he's seen men as trees. What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> hey, no. Watch this, y'all. Y'all want to see some weird? Y'all want to see some shit? Watch this real fast. Watch this. Oh damn. I hate when I do that. Wait a minute. Okay, now they want to play games. All right, hold on, watch this. Man, they were just doing that to me five minutes ago, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> like it took me, it took me like a few minutes to find that song's verse. You know, this ain't the first time they've been doing this. My, they did this shit. This, they did. This. Oh, here we go, right here. Watch this. Watch this little fruit cake shit. Watch this. I ain't, I'm not reading it, but y'all see this right here, right? A man clothed in soft raiment, right? <laughs> yeah. Watch this. Yeah. What what they like to say? You got to go into the Greek, brother. You got to go into the Greek. <laughs> into the Greek. All right. All right, let's go to the Greek. And I don't even think this one is, but we finna see. Mm -hmm. Effeminate. Look. What the? Oh man, what the? <laughs> of a boy with homosexual relations with a man. Uh, a male prostitute. I'm done. Faggots. Bro, what the fuck? I mean, shit is written by Greeks. You know what they did back in the day. They been going crazy. Greek freaks. <laughs> Playing on little boys and all that. Yo, that shit, yeah, that shit made me yeah. stand up from my oh. chair, bro. Hey, look, it's more, it, it's way more than that. But I was just looking through one day and I seen it. I'm like, well, hold on, wait, what the hell is going on here? What's no brother, you got to read into the context. It don't matter what kind of context it is. Your boy, whoever is in Matthew, they was come on, bro. That book of Matthew, bro, that motherfucker right there is something else. The first you ain't even got to go past the first page of Matthew. Yeah. Moreover, like Bro. when you read the when you read into the Piso family, and you know, a lot of people who are in the Christ uh, BS, like they don't even try to you know learn the language that it was written in. But even then, when you read into the Piso family, you'll learn that they wrote it in a royal language that only they understood. So it's kind of like an inside joke, you know. To like JC is Julius Caesar, for yeah. example. Like it's a, it's a royal mm -hmm. language. Not the common person spoke it. Exactly. They uh 
Damn, I can't find it. I thought I had it in my... I thought I had that little piece of thing in my favorites. These people, man, they, they so wicked. Hey, but look, check this out. This is what I wanted to say earlier, right? You could tell this a this a like this are people writing this because right up here he's saying he he's talking about you know their drink offers and things like that. So you know you gotta use a cup. And then what 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 did he say? He said, Yeah, how is my portion and my inheritance and of my cup? That's like being like sarcastic at the same time, but like dead ass serious, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes I just like to read the con read into the words. And see, is this actually, does this actually sound like it's our people that's saying it? You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And, 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 okay, since the title of the video is Vain Praises, I want to go to uh, Jeremiah. I got two things. Uh, so Jeremiah 23, 27. Um, all right. It says, so which, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> My bad. All right. Jeremiah 23, 27, which think to cause my people to let, no, let me just go up one. All right. Yeah. 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 How long, how, how long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. Con which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams. Whoa, which they shall, which they tell every man and his neighbor as their fathers have forgotten my name for B. Right, and you look, that's the L-O-R-D, right? And they always say J-S-U-S is L-O-R-D. So, mm. yep. um, so another case of that is like, we, we literally see an exodus of our own people. Like when they... They built a golden calf and called it Yahweh and say, this is the feast of Yahweh. And, and so what are yeah. what are they doing now in modern day? They're they're trying to equate the idol to every single feast day, you know, Passover, Tabernacles. Oh, he represents, you know, he represents our our shelter and, and shit like this. Um, I have a, I have a, an experience with this verse. And, and this is what confirmed to me the creator when I've like someone literally told me a christian literally told me um oh you you know you should just come to christ you can just forget the name of yahweh verbatim verbatim like you could just forget the name of yahweh and, and like and these are the type of people to label me as sacred name movement or hebrew roots movement or something like i've been called that quite a few times that's, i'm just like man i just read the scripture i just read the scripture bro i'm just a young man reading the scriptures Bro, that's wickedness, man. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Let me the, I'm, let me get give me a couple seconds, right? I want to tell right. y'all, brother, something. Y'all mm-hmm. y'all young, right? Y'all young, man. I, I ain't. I'm I'm young too, but y'all y'all like in y'all dubs. You feel me? Y'all got something. You know when them, when that lady said, "Oh, they they black male, they the the threat." Yeah, if that's that that because y'all got y'all hold the tour. And with, and with and not leaning on your own understanding like Proverbs tell us not to do, and and find the right counsel uh, and, and being amongst yourselves and, and also you know what I'm saying actually studying, bro. Y'all gonna y'all be something powerful. Only thing I would say is don't. The only thing I would say is always look at what everybody what it, Yasharal is doing as you're reading the scriptures and and it's very it's, you literally can see everything was going on. These people that call they self um israelites for the most part they might be genetically israelites but they still hold the spirit of esau the scriptures say that our souls have bowed down to them you know what i'm saying so you know what verse that is? when your soul bowed, um let me see Yep, right here. <clears throat> no, that's not it. Um, this is Psalms, I believe.
Hell no, nah, that ain't it. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, give me a second, y'all. Y'all rock on real fast. Give me a second. I'm gonna find that. All right, bro. Yo, uh, you still there, Ock? Yeah, I'm still there. I was looking for the scripture. I thought y'all was finna say something. I thought y'all was finna rock out for a little oh. bit. Oh, nah. Go no. ahead. Uh, if you, whenever you're, uh, done, can you pull up, uh, Isaiah 65, 11 for me? Okay. All right, let me start at, um... Damn. Man, this is crazy. Might as well read the whole chapter, Shit. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. No, for real, though. I, all right, I'm going to read the whole chapter, but just in case somebody just, you know, they wind up getting bored or something and, and don't catch it. I'm going where I'm at is verse 23, Isaiah 51, 23. But I will put it in the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to your soul, bow down that we may go over and the and you have laid your body as as the ground and as the street to them that went over oh yeah i see i see what you're saying now so i guess all right hold on and you said what you said what uh what book isaiah 65 verse 11 all right all right Let's try to run through run run through this real fast. No, hey, read read it, right, cause you read fast as hell. All right, uh, you said okay. It's Isaiah fifty one. Hold on, my my internet loading. All right, ready? Okay. You ready? Go ahead, right, take it over. Hearken to me, you that follow after righteousness, you that seek Yahuwah. Seek, um, look unto the rock once you are honed, and to the hole of the pit once you are dug. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bore you. For I called him alone, and Barak him, and increased him. For Yahuwah will comfort Sion, and he will comfort all her waste places, and he will make her wilderness like Eden, and her desert like the garden of Yahweh. Joy and gladness shall be found in it, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me, O my nation. For a Torah shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a light to the people. My righteousness is near, and my salvation is gone forth, and my arms shall judge the people, and the isle shall wait upon me, and on my arm shall they trust. And lift you up your eyes to the Shamaim, to the heavens, and look upon the earth beneath, for the heavens shall vanish away like smoke, 
and the earth shall wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Hearken unto me, you that know righteousness, the people who in whose heart is my Torah. Fear you not the reproach of men, neither be afraid of their revilings. For the moth shall be, for the moth shall eat them up like a garment. Hold up, I got something to say about verse seven. It, it's literally uh, in line with what the elder was saying in his live a few like a few hours ago. You know, all these people are are like do, using fear tactics of you know this eclipse. Like, oh, they they can make dark spirits, or you know NASA's gonna shoot rockets or whatever. But Father's saying that don't don't be afraid of their reproach. You know, right. like don't even worry about that. For the moth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm shall eat them up like wool. But my righteousness shall be forever, and my salvation from generation to generation. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of Yahuwah. Awake as in the ancient days, in the generations of old. Are you not it that cut Rahab and wounded the dragon? Are you not it which has dried the sea, the waters of the great deep, that has made the depths of the sea a way for the ransom to pass over? Therefore the redeemed of Yahweh shall return and come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. I even I am he that comforts you. Who are you that you should be afraid of a man that shall die, and of the son of man which shall be made as grass, and forgets Yahweh your maker, that has stretched forth the Shamaim and laid the foundations of the Aretz, the earth? And have feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor, as if he were ready to destroy. And where is the fury of the oppressor? The captive exile hastens that he may be loosed, and that he should not die in the pit, nor that his bread should fail. But I am Yahuwah your power, that divides the sea, whose waves ro roared. Yahweh of hosts, Yahweh Sabaoth is his name. And I have put my words in your mouth, and I have covered you in the shadow of my hand. Then I might plant the Shamaim and lay the foundations of the earth and say unto Zion, you are my people. Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which has drunk at the hand of Yahuwah the cup of his fury. You have drunk in the dregs of the cup of trembling and wrung them out. There is none to guide her among all the sons whom she has brought forth, and neither is there any that takes her by the hand of all the sons that she has brought up. These two things are come unto you. Who shall be sorry for you? Desolation and destruction and the famine and the sword. By whom shall I comfort you? Your sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of Yahweh, the rebuke of your Allah, your Allahim. Right? This reminds me of people in the hood. Like, they sitting in the corners playing dice and then, like, someone just drive by. Like, give them just a quick look and they get all pissed off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they stand they stay at the head of the streets as a wild bull in a net. Uh, Therefore, hear now this, you afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Thus says, yeah, this says your master, Yahweh, and your power that pleads the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of your hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. You shall no more drink it again, but I will put it into the hand of them that afflict you, which have said to your soul, bow down that we may go over. And you have laid your body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. All right. I got a precept. I got a precept for verse seven. Jeremiah oh, 10. Isaiah 65 and 11. Just remember that real fast. What you say? What uh, you got? Out? Yeah, Jeremiah 10. I'll just read verse 2. Jeremiah 10, verse 2. That's it. Yeah. I got to start at 1 because you're out right there, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. 10 and 1. Yeah. Hear ye the word which Yahweh speaks unto you, house of Yashara. Thus says Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Case closed. Yeah, exactly. Like, something may or may not happen during the eclipse, but to those who serve Yahweh only and keep his Torah, y'all are good. We good. And and also we can just say praise the creator for creating such a beautiful sight to see, you know? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It, yeah. We don't get to see such a thing. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, so, maybe, just maybe, I thought about this. There's so many people that, you know, that are anticipating on this. Maybe they might maybe the signs in the sky might put the fear of Yahweh in them enough mm -hmm. to know. Well, we still don't know when he's coming, but now I have 
the understanding of the fear of always doing we don't know if he gonna take us tomorrow singularly or he gonna gather us up together you, when i say that i mean either he gonna deliver us up out of here or we ain't gonna make it right right you know what i mean but the whole duty of man is keep his laws mm-hmm. exactly. all right so you know as i mentioned like jeremiah 23 27 they want to replace the name of the almighty so here isaiah is saying you are those that forsake Yahweh, that forget my Kadash mountain, that prepare a table for that troop and furnish a drink offering unto that number. But like this is the KJV. This is the, the English translation they gave us. So what is that troop? Right. If you go into the interlinear, go, uh, go to the tools. And just scroll down. To that troop. A table for that troop. Right. Gimel Dalit. That's G.O.D. Like. That's God. That literally says God. You forsake you who are for God, right? G-O-D. And it says Babylonian deity of fortune. So why are all these I'm celebrities done. talking about... Yeah, why are all these celebrities oh, talking about... Me. Hmm? Um, no, go ahead. I, I, was just, I was just flabbergasted. Go ahead, man. I'm fucked yeah, up all, over this shit. All these celebrities, they talking about, you know, oh, praise G.O.D. for all the money that gave us. Now, if you look up, look at a one dollar bill, you know, we live in the USA. It says on the money in G.O.D. we trust. Uh, go back, go back to the interlinear on the same verse. Uh, and go to that number It's the very last word. All right, that's Mem Noon Yod, money. So Isaiah 65, 11, if you were to read it, you know, with those words now, instead of saying that troop and that number, it's saying you are those that forsake you and forget his mountain for God and money. Hmm. Right, so wow. Hey, uh, is those the same words on the, uh, on the the that was written on the wall in Daniel? I, I don't think so. Or I don't that- know. Okay, okay. And you already know, we already see the state of the world, how it is right now. It's so materialistic. Everybody care about broken bags, designer cars, designer vehicles, all that, the money. You know, they worship G-O-D. Right, on the Gold, money. oil, drugs. On the money, right? They, right. they it says in G-O-D we trust. Right. And here's money. God. <laughs> right. It's over with. So that's vain praises, you know, like they praise JSUS, they praise G.O.D. and they praise the money and they praise L.O.R.D. Many, uh, uh, what is that in Jeremiah 10 to say Judah has many gods, bro, as, as many as the cities. Mm. I mean, shit, you just named three different deities right there, bro. <laughs> Dang, bro. Smash. Mm. So this is the reason why it's really weird because our people, once they fully convert to the idolatry of the the idol, idolatry, then they they uh commit what they uh admit or whatever yeah they basically admit and be like yeah i was out there in the streets and i was worshiping money money was my idol brother it still is Mm -hmm. that's even a you know just an impelling idea real fast that's that's something for all of us as people that's supposed to be the children of yashara we gotta get out of the mindset of um stressing when we don't have the funds you know what i'm saying because now we stressing because uh, apparently if you i mean apparently we putting our trust in another ball oh, the bills do oh, i'm stressing because i ain't got no money you ain't putting your trust in your house right because he knows that's just a tool for us now at this point yeah. you know just yeah. so we can operate in the wicked system it's just a tool now right You spell fortunes wrong. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? I think so. Yeah. They're already doing this crap, man. Okay, well, whatever. Let's find another version. There you go, right there. Thank you. Try to be difficult all the time. Jeremiah 30, 18. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Yeah, oh, no, wait, wait. All right, right here. Right here, 14. Jeremiah 30, 14. All your lovers, your allies, have left you and do not care about you anymore. I have wounded you cruelly as though you I were your enemy. For your sins are many and your guilt is great. Why do you protest your punishment? This wound that has no cure. I have had to punish. I have had to punish you because your sins are many and your guilt is great. But all who devour you will be devoured and all your enemies will be sent into exile. All who plunder you will be plundered and all who attack you will be attacked. I will give you back your health and heal your wounds, says Yahweh. But well, you know, I had to get the I had to get the, the the shot because they was like they told me if I didn't take the the the, the jab, then they was going. You know what I'm saying? But I had a cough, so I thought anyway I might as well go ahead and just take the take the jab. You know what I'm saying? Because I had to cough. But I believe in Yahweh too, though. Oh, he says I will give you back your health and heal your wounds. Well, the doctor said. You got stage one cancer and it's over with. You might as well go ahead and pray pray to the L and hopefully. He'll... But he says, I will give back your health and heal your wounds, says Yahweh, for you are called an ex uh, outcast, your Rasalam, for whom no one cares. But this is what Yahweh says when I bring Yashara home again from captivity and restore their fortune. Jerusalem will be built, will be rebuilt on its ruins, and the oh, man, I'm done, bro. I ain't finished. Never mind. And the palace <laughs> reconstructed as before. Yeah, right. He's gonna give it like we don't even truly know what abundance is compared to the ancestors, you know? Yeah. Like, imagine going out in the backyard and plucking an apple tree, and that's what you eat. You know, we don't we don't experience that but but he's saying in the scriptures that we will eventually it's somewhere in psalms that says that when we i don't know the chapter exactly but i'm just paraphrasing that when we end up planting our own uh when we end up planting our own seeds and, and reaping the harvest we'll be weeping after he gathers us mm -hmm. so that that tells our that should show our people you know man we back up here in 27 i mean in 17 it says what for you are called an outcast jerusalem for whom no one cares don't nobody seek us out they don't care about us you know what i mean but we have a power behind us that i mean the whole world that they they tried to even though they try to cover it up when just when they thought they rocked us to sleep and it was no it was we is at the point of no return Oh yeah, you know we found, uh, we found artifacts of this of, of the the uh, the the Red Sea cross and this and this stuff, but it says now remember that now remember what happened when we left Egypt. Y'all remember a lot, a lot of plagues before that. Yeah, but 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 as we was leaving out, what happened? We was restored. Oh yeah, they fortune. plundered. They plundered the Egyptians. So, the more that we like, man, we stressing about. We, I got. I need some cash and this and this and you. Because the thing is, what that damn idol, what that money does, is it make you move. Uh, uh, it make you move very sloppy, and you start doing stuff. Well, I prayed every. I prayed today. I fasted this week. Uh, I I I did this, I did that, but then you get on the YouTube, throw a bunch of fire scriptures out there, and then hit the put the put pull, pull pull the cash app up, 
and you think, well, I've been restored my fortunes. That ain't nothing, bro. Uh, only thing, uh, only thing, yeah. Go ahead. And we're seeing all these, all these people in Yashara, they like, they have these Patreons up and they have all these up. Gatekeeping, truth, gatekeeping tour and all of that for money. I don't know. Like, I understand it, but like, why gatekeep wisdom? Wisdom doesn't have a price tag. Worth more than gold and rubies. Exactly. That's what the scriptures say, bro. And we, and I don't, I don't know, man. Mm-hmm. It's like when you, when you, when you deal, when you deal with a people that ain't had nothing since they've been here, since they've been taken away from their land, since they've been taken away from their, they, uh, you know, their rightful ownership. Since they've been taken away from that, you once you take that from them, all they have left now is they they think they only have who brought them around. Mm. And then you look on that dollar bill, those are the people. Huh? The thing tell you in God we trust, you ain't gonna you oh no, they believe in God, they believe in God. Oh, okay. At man, you know I'm I'm putting that in the chamber. What what I the water for that one. You're welcome. Praise the most high. You die your how for sure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thought I had a where was that preset that I see? Is this um, ah that's where it was at. Is another one right here, right? That guy two starting at six. No, 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 no. Let's start at four. But now Yahweh says, "Be strong, Zerubbabel." It, we uh, we know he's talking about Zerubbabel. I just want to read context. Be strong and talk about Zerubbabel. No, my, I ain't finna go because I already just, I already did, I already did that. But I just want to let y'all New Testament people know, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not going nowhere else with y'all people unless until you until you explain to me why is there a Benjamite in the in the line of David for G for JC lineage until you can explain that to me through your book, then I don't want to hear nothing from y'all, bro. So but now it says, but now Yahweh says, be strong, Zerubbabel, be strong. Yeshia, son of uh of Jehozadak, the high priest, be strong. You are all you people still left in, left in the land, and now get to work for I am with you, says Yahweh. Uh, Yahweh Zabuwa. Verse five. My spirit remains among you, just as I am. Pro- I, just as I promised when you came out of Egypt. So do not be afraid, bro. For this is what Yahweh Zabawah says. In just a little bit, I will again shake the heavens and the earth, the ocean and the dry land. I will shake all the nations and the treasures of all the nations. What? And the treasures of all the nations will be brought to this temple. I will fill this place with glory, says Yahweh Zabawah. Watch this. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, says Yahweh Zabawah. The future glory of this temple will be greater than its past glory. Said, man, I don't know about you. I'm not. I ain't. I don't have a big imagination, but what I could picture picture already is enough in my mind to to stay stay uh, steadfast and giving all my praises to Him and Him alone. 
I don't need nobody else uh for for my for my God for my Allah I am my power to hear me. I don't need that's, you know, that's one thing that always see I grew up in like okay I, I hear people say I grew up in the church but I'm a pastor's son. The one thing that always made me rebel, even though now I know I was re rebelling against you, Howard, what made me not even deal with the with, deal with none of it, period, is because I always thought to myself, well, if he's my brother, why do I got to go through my brother to get to my dad? It sounds like my dad don't love me, bro. Or he wouldn't have, you, you see what I'm saying? So... That's why. Well, anyway, I almost got off topic. That that was just a, a random thought. But it show it tell you right here, just as the same way when Yahweh deliver us out of out of Egypt, the same thing gonna happen. We don't gotta be worried about I, I hear people be like, Oh, we gotta get we gotta prep, we gotta prep and all this before everything shut down. I'm not saying don't do that, but if you think that shit gonna save you then you you're not gonna get delivered up out of here the same way that you came out of Egypt. Cause uh, provider. Uh. Yeah, man, for real. That's why I said that, that, like automatically, like if you keep Torah and if you serve your Howard only, you good. You don't have to worry about anything. I got a, a preset for what you just pulled up. Isaiah chapter 60. All right. Uh, Arise, shine, for your light has come. And I'm going to read like the first like nine of them. Ten of them. Yeah. Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the splendor of Yahweh is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But Yahuwah will rise over you, and his esteem will be seen upon you. And the nations shall come to, the, to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around and see. They all gather together. They come to you. Your son shall come from afar, and your daughters shall be nursed at your side. Then you shall see and become radiant, and your heart shall swell with joy, because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. The wealth of the nations shall come to you. The multitude of camels shall cover your land. The dromedaries of Midian and Ephah, all those from Sheba shall come, and they shall bring gold and incense, and they shall proclaim the praises of Yahweh. And all the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together to you. The rams of Nebaioth shall, shall minister to you. They shall ascend with acceptance on my altar, and I will magnify the house of my esteem. Who are these that fly like a cloud, like doves to their roost? Surely the coastlands shall wait for me, and the ships of Tarshish will come first to bring your sons from afar, their silver and their gold with them. To the name of Yahweh your power, and to the Kadash one of Yasharal, because he has magnified you. The sons of foreigners shall build up your walls, and their kings shall minister to you. For in my wrath I struck you, but in my favor I have mercy on you. Um, so he's saying that, that like when they see when the nations see what the most high will do for his people they're gonna be like in awe and they're gonna want to give gold and silver to us as well for jerusalem to build it up uh, don't hey don't mind me don't mind me I, i'm looking up some i'm in my own lane no problem bro But soon. See, the definition to, you know, it's like this. If you, once you start to understand that, you know, I'm not being prideful or anything, but Yahweh has accept, not accepted me yet. But Yahweh delights enough in me that he has revealed to me the simple things that everybody else can't seem to get over. You know what I'm saying? So 
that favor means that you're acceptable to Yahweh. You know what I mean? That means you you he you are a pleasure to him. That doesn't mean like, oh yeah, you know, you 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 the what you the top dog. No, that don't mean that. It just means we need to understand as a people. Man, fuck these people that don't want to serve the most high, bro. I'm not saying like hate our people, but it's like, bro, y'all got the pride problem and y'all y'all pull the pride problem on us. But the scriptures say. Hold on. Where is it at? Where is that? Yeah, it says, but in my favor, have I had mercy on you? So. This is how well how you another way you know and once again how do you how do you get saved and through your how was through your how accepting your 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 what what is that scripture brothers where he said um is it Hosea where he say um uh not not no that Psalms would say a broken and contrite spirit but like the calf on my lips I have no idea. Hmm. I, I did. I did have a precept hmm. for this, like uh, Zechariah two and eight. Okay. For thus says the of Hosts: After the esteem has he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that touches you touches the apple of his eye. Yep. They do what? You touch the apple of his eye. You ever try to touch somebody, the, the pupil of somebody's eye? That should have pissed them off. What, what are you doing? That's that's how it is. You didn't didn't you have to tell tell them people, don't touch my anointing, don't do my prophets no harm. I'm not saying yeah. we anointed and we anointed, but you know. If through his through through his favor we accept it, then hey, it is what it is. Yeah, man. Let his no. will be done. Mm -hmm. uh. I'm looking for that scripture. I'm, I'm looking for this scripture, y'all. Don't don't mind me. Oh, you good? You good? Um, Right here, Jose. It was Jose. So, so like y'all, I be second guessing myself sometimes. Um, Jose, I'm start at one. Jose, fourteen and one. Oh, Yashara, return unto Yahweh your Elohim, for you have fallen by your iniquity. Verse two. Take with you words. You see this? Take with you words and turn to Yahweh. Say unto him, take away all my iniquity and receive us graciously. So we will render the calves of our lips. That's that's how we are saved from our iniquity. 
This is all we got to do to ask y'all would have take away our iniquity and receive us graciously with our lips, bro. No, brother, you got to. It's the same. Calves. Watch, watch. R. R. <laughs> of our lips. The offering of our lips right there. And I do stuff like this because I done ran into so many scoffers. They try to play games because they deal with people that don't study. So then I got to go to lips because like, oh, no, no, brother, that don't say anything. That says a bull, a cab, this and this. Okay, lips. What about that? Language, speech, a brink, border. Like, what, what, what else? What body part? The offering of my lips. At what body part? What what you want me to say? I didn't. I didn't create none of this. Facts, bro. Exactly. And you know, now you think about it, um, that's another example of vain praise when people are, they're telling us, you know what I'm saying? They're calling on the idol and saying, he's going to do it. He's going to do all of these things. And they giving him reverence and all of these things, but it's vain. It, it's more vain because yeah, the people that say that they worship the idol or or whatever how, however they want to put it they don't even do what he says to do even he yeah, told man. them he even told them to uh, to only reverence whatever well i well we know what that is in 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 that book anyway but still you know what i'm saying they say god this and this well he tell you only worship him and here you go but I, I don't know, man. It's all vain, bro. It's just vain praises. It's the same thing like being in a new age and you sit there meditating, sitting down 30, 40 minutes, your butt, your butt sore as hell because you, because you, hum, you know what I'm saying? And you, I am this and I am that. You uh, done imagine you walking in the park, breezing your uh, uh, hair, uh, the, the air uh, flowing through your hair. And you don't uh, open your eyes, and now you, oh, you, you, I am great, I am free. No, that's vain, bro. Cause as soon as you walk outside, you can get knocked down by the by the slave slave department at any time. Exactly. Hey, your leg fell asleep too. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. And, and that's not to say that like meditation itself doesn't have benefits, but it's just like, like they not. They not really meditate on Torah like Joshua one and eight, and Psalms one says to do. You know, so yeah, it's so vain, bro. Yeah. I got a verse. It's regarding vain praises and regard what you said earlier. Look about. All right, go ahead. And the sun. All right, it's Malachi one verse six. A son honors his father and is serving his master. If I then be a father, where is my honor? If I be a master, where is my fear? Says Yahweh of hosts <laughs> unto you, O priest, that despise my name. And you say, where, wherein have we despised your name? It says it right there. We are to give you glory do. to the father only. Give esteem to the father only. God. Not no son. I know son who Come. says, oh, oh, you got to pray in my name. You got to go through me to get to the Father. Like, nah. Bro, it, it, he said, he said, whatever you ask in my name, it will happen unto you. Bro, like, I, I know, I know a lot of people, 
I bet they asked a whole bunch of stuff and it never happened, including myself a few years ago. <laughs> exactly. Man, look, I, like I said, man, all of that crap is nothing but vain. It's, it's all vain. Look, Psalm 77 and 12 say, I will meditate also of all your work and talk of your doings. So people got this, under, they got this thing like, oh, there's a certain way that you meditate. If you ask a person, well, how, how, how do you meditate? They probably going to give you some old stuff that's probably connected to Krishna or something, how they do it. And meditating is just fathoming and and thinking upon his works his law yeah you meditate really needs to focus so focus thank on his law thank you right and, and we wonder why we got we got people they'll read this chapter and other chapters that say for us to meditate and guess what they'll do they'll go and you, you you know you know <laughs> you know those uh those hurt channels and stuff four four hurts and stuff like that yeah and, yeah, you, yeah and you got the thumbnail you got the thumbnail and they sitting down you know what i'm saying legs cross and stuff that's how our brothers be talking about oh father most high creator of heaven and earth you no brother no and and take your fingers off of each other too brother You want to meditate? Well, fall on your knees and reverence him. That's how, <laughs> this is crazy, man. Put your face on the ground. Cry out to him. You know, our people don't do that. You know why? Because that means you gotta you you gotta bring humility. You know what I'm saying? Put my face to the ground. Well, the ground dirty. just prideful <laughs> but but then but but then they'll always be like yeah you he on this train man my bad y'all but they'll be like oh yeah um i pray every day i pray every day and you know goodness well they praying just like the christians brother i'm talking about with their hands claps together and everything when the scriptures when the scriptures give you instruction on how to pray yeah, we see uh, Abraham and Moshe. They prostrated, prostrated that word, you know, meaning they got on their, they got on their knees and on their face. Exactly. And and Second uh, Chronicles six says to do it towards Jerusalem, so that he can hear it. Uh -huh. Yep. It's the whole chapter. Uh -huh. Yep. Now I'm on etymology. I looked up meditate, and it says to ponder, think abstractly, engage in mental contemplation to think over to reflect or to consider so if, if we were to meditate on the law right and we've all like read genesis exodus leviticus numbers deuteronomy we're gonna constantly think about the law and you know how that can apply to us in this captivity and in this modern day and even you know science behind this law like for example uh don't mix wool and linen right meditating on that law you'll find out that there's certain frequencies behind wool and linen that cancel each other out and can you know harm the body so that's why the creator said not to mix those things so i'm just giving one example for it you know but that's it like we have to constantly ponder this this torah that he gave us right and we learn we learn new things every day you know every second look this is something right here i hope somebody realized this is how you pray this is one this is one way how you pray this is the best way that you pray face down uh -huh. and you know what that mean that mean you're willing to submit to your how the police pull you over there get on the ground get on the ground they ain't even got to tell you get face down on the ground you going hands up knees face so 
why can't we have that same respect and praise for Yahweh, for the creator, bro? It, it, it don't make sense to me. But, but you know, I, all right, I'm going to say this. I'm going to let y'all cook. You know what this means, though? In order for you to do, in, in order for you to do that, lying face down, you, you can't do that in vain. You, like, literally cannot do it in vain. When I say that, I mean, it, it's impossible for you to get down on your knees and put your face to the ground and come and, and asking the most high for, you know, what, 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 whatever it is. Take that asking for away. repentance. Uh -huh. Hosea. Yeah, Hosea. <laughs> Man, that thing you brought up with the the police uh, is is true because it's like like people are so quick to fear the police officer, but not the creator when he can like he can. I mean, just acts of nature itself. You know, we see in Psalms, it's like I will meditate on your doings and and talk about you know your works. Acts of nature itself are his works. You know, he he causes rain, and I'm not talking about the fake clouds and the fake rain that they're doing, but like you know real whirlwinds and stuff i can't I, I i i can't imagine that you know it's just it's just vast it's 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 huge and and when you try to like just think about it like how he stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the flat earth and the dome and the firmament right that's that's what we're supposed to meditate on his works Next up. No, nah, that's a big con. You know, I'm I'm glad you said that, bro. Because um the first part of of walking of being, you know, in the truth of actually knowing that the most high and most high only, you know that he created everything. And once you start to re actually reveal, I mean, uh re uh what's the word I'm looking for? revere him no that's not the word is yeah it? yeah him. yeah when you start wanting more and more you start to revere him and you un like bro like I, okay i look at it like this yahweh created the wind it has an image that nobody can see and he and he he gave it a name he gave the bottom of the sea a name he created that he, he created the the mountains that these people decide they want to go try to fly drones down and they see large uh civilizations of trees and wildlife and stuff they cre he created the unknown things he created you know what i'm saying and when you realize that you're not you're not dismayed about why you're looking at the stars and you're looking at the the, the moon is so red no oh, do you see this you you're looking at it said that is your the 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 world's greatest painter yeah bro and you oh, notice man. how every every single tree branches off into a y and, huh. and that, that's that's the it, like if you look at your right palm and the lines on your right palm that makes the the, the letter yod which means hand yeah right. yeah it's those stuff like is that stuff you know those little things those signs that he puts it's literally on your right hand bro yeah i mean shoot everywhere everywhere he controls everything bro so i don't understand why we got we have a problem with like giving him all the giving him everything you don't you ain't gonna give your boss well i ain't gonna say that because shit whatever but most people ain't gonna get a boss half job stuff you know what i'm saying yeah uh -huh. they're gonna make sure that they don't look at it as it was vain to hire them or to put them in this position. And believe it or not, bro, when you step out of that New Testament, you have a you you have a calling. You know what I'm saying? Some some people calling is to hop out of the New Testament to get into more witchcraft and lead other people astray because Yahweh just ain't dealing with them. 
some people are called to actually, you know, bring out bring out the tour. You know what I mean? But no matter no matter how how which way we you know we we go with it, the whole mission is to fully give him all of the praise. But you gonna give half of it to him. You know, I give him all of it, but there's some but it, it, there there's somebody that has to get some of it as well. I never could understand that even when I was in the New Testament. I I I really wasn't the person to be talking about Yahweh and Idol Shy at the same time. I really wasn't that type of person. And it's because I under, man, 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 people got to understand something. See, I'm not a person that believe in, oh, you know, we could go to hell, this and this and this. I don't know, you know, what's going to happen to us when Yahweh, you know, comes. Or I don't know what happened to us when he takes our breath away. That's how much fear I got in him, though, to always just stay fast and trying to please him with everything that I got. Bro, because, cause shit, you you know niggas. I don't know. Go ahead. I, I was just gonna say real quick, like what you just said. Like we don't know what happens when he takes our breath away. And and the fact is, like I've I've been in near death experiences. Like when I lived in Africa, like I almost got hit by a bus. And <laughs> and instead of getting hit by a bus, I got hit by two motorcycles instead. You know and. Or uh, a few months ago in the winter, when I'm when I'm you know back here in America, like I was ice skating, and I'm I'm pretty good at ice skating, but but for some reason I slipped and like messed up my knee pretty bad, and like it was painful for like five minutes. Like those small experiences, I don't want to call them small, but they're big. But it's like, yo, the, that that's the creator showing me like, yo, I can really just take away your ability to walk in a split second, and and it just makes me fear it more, like reverence him more like he has con he has control over that he's you know he, somehow somehow my ice skate hit that small divot in the ice so, you know out of all the other places it could have landed just to show me that yeah you gotta you gotta reverence me more you gotta make sure you're on track you know don't slip up exactly. yeah, how for sure. like man ever since ever since i almost got hit by by a bus and I got hit by two motorcycles instead. Like that really changed my perspective on life. Like I really started living it to the fullest. Uh, I, I, at least like what I think. And and like I, I, I was seeking them even more. And after that is when I also dropped the idol too. So, <laughs> you know, everything was on good timing. Mm. Praise the Father. Like each and every time. Like even like. A couple, like a couple of days ago, when I was out driving, like I, I, I damn near got crushed by this truck. I was trying to, I was hopping on another freeway, right? And I was trying to hop out of that freeway to the exit, and it, it was just me and this truck, and the uh, wall, and it was coming damn near close. So I floored it, and I got out of there. And right afterwards, I was like, "Hallelujah!" Because I, I, right there, I could have died. I could have gone away like that. You know, it is moments like that when you like realize like y Yah is like in control of everything and like he has the power to take you like that's what that's what the atheists like these atheists I don't understand I don't understand these atheists that don't believe in a creator in a creator. They talk about there is no creator and all that, like they they like they they're dumb. They're stupid. <laughs> you know, and I, it's like moments like that, like moments that I've experienced, you know, that makes you think, hey, there, there is a creator out there. You know? Hallelujah. It's not, no, it, it's not no man with a perm and a beard and no, no millionaire man with no fucking... <laughs> Afro, woolly Afro, nah, it's like it's the creator himself. The I said don't make an images. And you said don't make an image. <laughs> no graven images, exactly. 
No, 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 no. I I made it, but it ain't. I'm not going to worship it. I'm just going to think about Yahweh when I see it. Bruh. But all praises to the idol. Bashem. Bashem. <laughs> Yahweh Bashem. <laughs> like this. Stupid, bro. Like, hold on, wait a minute. Quick intermission, bro. You're being led astray by devil. If I ask somebody, what is the name of the most high God? The most high God is a title. God is a title. Lord is a title. If I ask you, what is God's name? Guys from TMS will say, his name is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. That's two different names. But you're going to take two names, put them together, and say that that's the name of one person. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. And I know that there are some guys in those camps that are sincere. But I also know there are some guys in those camps who know that they lie. IUIC ought to be ashamed of themselves. Only thing Christ did was lead us into pure idolatry. That's right, his will is real. Christ is the head of the idolatrous, blasphemous, demonic, satanic church. Got a whole religion named after Christianity. Bro, how how did all the Christians believe that are at 144k when that, that so called religion has like billions of people in it? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. No, I tell you how because they want to see their people destroyed. That's how, and they think mm -hmm. they're gonna be the look. It's crazy. Okay, so in one camp, there's probably 144,000 people, right? So what happens if you get 144,001 people? So now y'all gotta start doing conniving and sneaking and being wicked, trying to provoke a person to anger. So you can say, oh yeah, he wicked. He wicked. He don't got the 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 spirit of the what what they say the 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 armor of faith and the helmet of salvation and like like yeah, you yeah. a damn avatar on a motherfucking PS3 or some shit. Yo, I, yo, man, I've been I've been away from that idolatry so long. I forgot that was a doctrine. I forgot about that. Crazy. <laughs> but look though, Deuteronomy thirty two thirty nine. It, it made me think about when we was talking about, you know, y'all brothers talking about y'all, y'all fates and y'all, y'all near fates and stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's say Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no power with me, with me. I kill, I make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Now, look, one day this was about. A year ago and I think either I was just coming out of the New Testament or I was like Paul like kind of that nigga blew the last gasket in me I was like man fuck 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 Paul bro yeah fuck Paul bro <laughs> <laughs> and I was driving home one day and I had hit a corner I, I, I had went away that I usually don't go I wind up in some Amish land, right? So they got these deep corner turns and stuff. And I hit the turn and my car, as I was turning left, my car had went and started falling into the into a ditch on my right hand side. And I'm not capping, bro. And you know, a, a person can be like, oh, you, here you go with that esoteric shit. Look, bro. The scriptures say that his angels will protect you. So miss me with that bullshit. But what happened next was when I went, when, when the car had went into the dish, it was like, I felt a force push the car, the little, it literally pushed the car right back into the road. And, and only thing that was wrong was my, well, that was wrong with my car was there was a dent in the, on the top part, on the very top part of my, cause, cause the car had literally was finna flip over and that motherfucker, it was like something pushed that bitch back onto the road. And I went by my day. I had went and called my dude. I ain't gonna cap. Uh, the brother I had called at the time. I was crying and everything. I'm like, shit. Praise your high. Praise yeah. your most high. Mm. Mm. Right. Yeah, I, yeah, man. 
<laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly how that felt when I almost got hit by a bus. I felt a force pull me forward so I could get hit by two motorcycles instead. Like, yeah, and like the force is real, bro. Like he's he he really sends his Malakim, his angels with us, bro. Right. Right. Hey, what's that scripture? It's in it's in numbers where um Balaam was riding on the donkey. Numbers twenty two. The water. I... Hold on. Towards the end. Start at verse twenty two. Okay. All right, verse twenty actually. Yeah. All right, and it says, And Yahweh came unto Balaam at night and said unto him, If the man come and call thee, rise and go with them. But yet the word which I say unto you, you shall, you shall do. And Balaam rose up in the morning and saddled his ass and went with the princes of uh, Moab. And Yahweh's anger was kindled because he went and with the uh, he went and the angel of Yahweh stood in the way for an adversary against him. But you see that, right? The angel of Yahweh stood in the way for an adversary against him. So that first of all, before we keep going, we got angels that will that will get on our ass and take us up out of here. But we got angels that will protect us. It's period, bro. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna go off the Richter scale because I don't because if I don't know if y'all brothers believe that or not, so I ain't gonna I ain't gonna go off the Richter scale or anything. But I'm just gonna say people need to stop with the whole. Oh, you believe in angels? Well, angels. There was an angel that was over us when we was leaving, leaving, leaving up out of here. So, I mean, when we was leaving up out of Egypt. So, miss me with that angel. Oh, you can't have an angel thing. I'm not talking about how these uh, uh, new uh, new age people be like. Oh, you got an angel over here in one corner and an angel over here. And no, brother. But anyway, it's a um, the angel of Yahweh stood in the way of uh, in the way for an adversary against him. Now he was riding upon his ass, and two servants were with him. And the ass saw the angel of Yahweh standing in the way, and his sword drawn in his hand, and his ass turned aside out of the way and went into the the field. And Balaam smote the ass to turn her into the way. But the angel of Yahweh stood in the path of the vineyards, a wall being on the side and a wall on that side and when the ass saw the angel of Yahweh, she thrust herself into the wall and crushed Balaam's foot against the wall and he smote her again and the angel of Yahweh went further and stood in the narrow place where was no way to turn turn either to the right hand or to the left and when the ass saw the angel of Yahweh, she fell down under Balaam wow and uh, and Balaam's anger was kindled, and he smote the ass with the staff. And Yahweh opened the mouth of the ass, and she said unto Balaam, What have I done to you that you have smite me these three times? And Balaam said unto the ass, Because you have mocked me, I would I would there I, I would there hold on, Salak. I'm gonna start over verse 29. And and Balaam said unto the ass, Because thou mock mock me, I would there be a sword in thy hand, right? I mean, I would there were... Man, wait a minute, bro. I would there were a sword in my hand. Thank you, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. For now I will kill you. And the ass said unto Balaam, Am not I thy ass upon which thou hast written over, uh, written ever since I was thine unto this day? Was I ever won't? to do i don't that's the sometimes i don't like this kjv bro because they just be throwing me off i'm sorry y'all yeah. it's okay you good all right. bro all right give me the can i get the no oh, okay here we go uh, i think you're on verse 30 no oh, okay the water all right and the donkey set, saw and the donkey saw me and turned aside before me these three times. If she said, "Okay," if she 30. said, it, uh, "What the hell?" If she had, all right, bet. And the donkey said to Balaam, "Am I not your donkey on which you have written 
all your life long to this day? Is it my habit to treat you this way? And he said, no. Then Yahweh opened the eyes of Balaam and he saw the angel of Yahweh standing in the way with his drawn sword in his head. I mean, in his hand. And he bowed down and fell on his face. And the angel of Yahweh said, why have you struck your donkey these three times? Behold, I have come out to oppose you because your way is perverse before me. The donkey saw me and turned aside before these th these three times. If she would, if she had not turned aside from me, surely just now I would have killed you and le and let her live. What 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 y'all got to say, bro? What I ain't talking about y'all, or or y'all, it don't matter. What 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 these people got to say, bro? There are angels that could get us about the way, and it's angels to protect us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So, um, that incident, those incidents, it's safe to say, yeah, we give all glory and all honor to Yahweh for for bringing us up out of that stuff, for sure, for sure. But the only way that we know that that happened is because those things happen, and Yahweh uses His angels to protect His people. He is Yahweh Zabuwag, right? Yeah, Yahweh hosts. Yeah. Y'all go ahead, Ag. My bad. I got a, I got a verse. Um, let me find it. Give me, give me a sec. All right, Joshua 5. Uh, ver like verse 13 to 15. Can you read that? You want me to read it? Yeah. All right, Joshua 5, 13. When Yahweh shot was, yeah, I said that. Yeah, I said it. When <laughs> this is the real I, one. This is the real. This is the real Yahweh Shai. This is the real Yahusha. You know, exactly. <laughs> Crazy. <yeah. laughs> when Yahweh Shai was born, I mean, I was born when when Yahweh was. Uh, God damn! Wait a minute. <laughs> It'd be like that. <laughs> All right. When Yahweh Shai was by Jericho, he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, a man was standing before him with his drawn sword in his hand. And Yahweh went to him and said to him, are you for us or for your adversaries? And he said, no, but I am the commander of Yahweh's, uh, of, uh, of the army of Yahweh. For now I have come and Yahweh fell on his face to the earth and worshiped and said to him, what does my Lord say to his servant? And the commander of Yahweh's army, uh, Yahweh's army said to Yahweh take off your sandals from your feet for the place where you are standing is holy and Yahweh shot did so. So he experienced this, this Malak, this messenger, who is the commander of the messengers who helped Yasharal in the wars, right? And it's like you were just saying like a few minutes ago, there's there's these messengers that are for us and there's messengers that will like that are ready to wipe us out for doing iniquity. Yeah, um, I, you know, just just because I know how people try to flip flip the words, flip Yahweh's words around, right? And they'll oh they'll say something like, "Well, Yahweh is the angel" or some weird stuff. You know what I'm saying? You you got so many doctrines out here. We need to understand that this means he paid homage to. It don't mean that he was, oh, Yahweh Ba'ashem the idol. I mean, Yahweh Ba'ashem the angel that's right. Yahweh Ba'ashem, uh, I ain't going to say that because I ain't going to say that. But you know what I'm saying? Say if it was it was Mikael or something. He wasn't, oh, the Ba'ashem, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't. Yeah, it, mm. So yeah, I'm, just, I'm, just putting that, I'm just putting that out there as a disclaimer so people don't try to make it seem like, oh, no, well, 
you got to worship the angels also. Nah. According to Joshua 5 and 14. Nah, man, because if King David was in front of you or like King Solomon or like high priest of Doc, you would pay homage to them too. You know, that's the king. Like, that's royalty, man. Yeah, you better or your head gonna get chopped off, nigga. Right there. That right there. <laughs> I or I got some Ezekiel. I'm gonna start at verse eight to ten. It's for these false prophets. All right, he put out the all right. Verse eight. Yeah. All right. Wait a minute, let me see something. Hold on. What is this? Ezekiel? Uh, you said you say Ezekiel wait, right? Oh no, that's my mistake. Ezekiel verse I mean Ezekiel thirteen verse eight. That's my mistake. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right. Therefore, thus says Yahweh, our power, because you have utterly uttered falsehood and seen lying visions, therefore, behold, I am against you, declares Yahweh Allah. My hand will be against the prophets who see false visions and who give lying divinations. They shall not be in the council of my people, nor be enrolled. Scroll up. All right. Nor be enrolled in the register of the house of Yashara, nor shall they enter into the land of Yashara. And you shall know that I am Yahweh Allah. Precisely because they have misled my people, saying peace, when there is no peace. And because when the people build a wall, these prophets smear it with whitewash. Hey, that's what I was telling you last night, remember? The same uh -huh. thing. Yeah. There was this one video I saw on Instagram where this idolater eating some pork, uh, some pork chops. Eating some pork chops, just boasting. Boasting about this idol and all that. I was like, damn. And it remind me of this verse right here, these, these few verses. Ezekiel 13, 8 to 10. Now, hey, yo, I, yeah, are you, if you if you done with that, you know, mm -hmm. right? If you done with that, soon as you, soon as I seen this right here, it yeah. triggered me. Yeah, you know why? Whitewash. You know why it triggered me, right? Yeah. Because our people were like, yeah, they they yeah, that's a precept. Let's go to Maccabees. They did this and this and this with the. With to cover the faces of the judges and up, brother. All right, that's cool. But they try to put that at they that that's cool if you gonna do that. But they they do that in reference of the idol though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They say, well, all of that the whitewash this and they but, but this whitewash which is crazy. But I ain't gonna say nothing because I don't want people to be like, oh, you you are a and all of that crap you know what i'm saying but it tell you what kind of people we dealing with foolish insipid tasteless unseasoned who who is that you ain't gotta say it <laughs> <laughs> you feel me yeah so that's yeah. what it means so it it's literally telling us simply shit the same people they done get they done given us another doctrine our prophets a foolish doc a unseasoned doctrine a wash doctrine yeah y'all wrong man 
Insipid means lacking flavor. Look, 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 I ain't trying to hear it, bro. Look. <laughs> Safety. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> look. Oh, hell no. There we go. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, y'all. Smash. Look, oh. of drink. That goes back to drinking the blood, then. Hey, come on! It's 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 what it is what washed. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah. Stop, man! I'm all right. Okay, smash. There you go. Yeah, that that's all I wanted to. Uh, you kind of it that kind of triggered me when I seen that part. Uh, that's all. I wasn't trying to stop your bill. <laughs> My bad. Oh, no, that's all good. <laughs> These idolaters, they're going to learn one day. The moment where they not going to see no man descend from Shamayim from heaven, they're going to be like, damn. Bro, it shocks me how people still believe in a rapture. Yeah. They do? I forgot about that shit, bro. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, man. I, I I be forgetting about it, and then like sometimes it comes up on my YouTube feed or something. No, nah, so they. Uh, no, 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 no. So people still out here on the set. See, I was see this. They let you know I'm totally lost in some of this stuff, bro. I don't. I don't do all of this crap away i thought that they like tricked the world and started making people think it ain't the rapture but even though they they paint this picture like all oh, the chariots and jc coming down and beaming everybody up i was i thought i was thinking like oh okay they they created a different type of rapture hmm. but people still believing in the whole the the other the the Christian, the rip, the, the Christian, Christian. Well, they all Christian. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, like with the Yahawashai folks, bro, they, they think like UFO, like Yahawashai is going to come with UFOs. If you look up Yahawashai on Google Images, you're going to see an image of him with UFOs. <laughs> That's no. just hilarious, man. That should, <laughs> crack, me up. That should crack me up. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, now check this out. This is a shame. Cause this literally happened to me before. I was talking to somebody and I would do, I was trying to tell them I'm not American. You know what I'm saying? I'm this and this and this. Cause they not from here. And I and I was like, yeah, you know, my God is Yahweh. And they go to type in Yahweh, right? And guess what they see? Oh wow, I'm glad they, they switched up the algorithm, even though I ain't stupid. Yeah, you look, this 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 the first thing you seen. Yeah, I'm gonna buy him and with, with these niggas with these Yeah, with these goofy ass uh costumes on. You know what I'm talking look, look, I'm just gonna I'm gonna type it in because they they I think they switched up the uh, whoa, wait a minute. For all you people. Believe in Yahweh as the only source this, of power in the universe. Of what? In the what? I... In the universe. Oh, the only oh, no. source of power. Oh, I... No, 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 no. But I believe I believe in the Creator of the universe. Let me show you this tarot card. Let me show you not 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 a tarot card. Let me show you this uh tarot card. <laughs> oh man. It's crazy, but look, this the first. 
this the first thing that pop up as soon as soon as they click on your howl this what this what pop up and i had to tell them no it ain't it ain't baha shem nothing it's just your hour they these people look this all you see and they looking at me like i thought you said you had one god look at this what where where is the description of these images at bro in the tour right now oh no off that shit right there no it's not it don't it didn't say anything about he had the ephod on and he had the manure around him it it, it, it ain't say none of that what about this one it it definitely ain't say that shit but i mean all all he got to do is take That's that Zeus, that, bro. I, exactly <laughs> Exactly. This dude is the same nigga that was washing people's feet butt naked in, in the New Testament. <laughs> Clear. <laughs> but that's what that that's that's what we got into now. And that and, and you know, that's why some people might be like, they think like, oh, I'm trying to be um I'm trying to be too much set apart. And that's or I'm trying to be a lone wolf and all that. No, I'm not trying to be none of that. I just don't like the fact that when even though people ain't even people don't even know who what people know who we are, but the more that the information is getting out who we are, we still some type of way keep getting uh shitted on by our own people because they believe in the idol so people go to oh yeah you look you look like you got a different you know aura about yourself what's up with you yeah you know i'm you know i ain't when well, you go to church no, i don't do none of that i just praise i just praise the most high you know what i'm saying that's it oh well what's his name yahweh well let's go click in yahweh and here we go as soon as you click yahweh or well, baha shem yeah i thought you said his name was yahweh it is well every all i see is baha shem Bahashem, Bahashem, every way where you go, that shit pisses me off, bro. That's all yeah, you see, Bahashem, Bahashem, Bahashem. Every time you turn around, like, come on, bro. Look, look, look at this stupid shit, bro. The acts of Idol Shy. I'm not saying y'all with name right there. And then he go to, I'm. Oh, that's why. And is. Look, this is this Easter's elders, bro. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of old yeah. people I see, bro. Yeah. It's an idol, but y'all ain't worshiping. I I gotta hurry up and get to the BET Awards. You you gotta go hurry up and get to the idol. Oh, did did you hear about KB? He died. I cried all night. Idol worshiper. Oh, I'm I'm be right back. I gotta use the restroom. Huh. Crazy, bro. Fucking madness. It just told your ass. Is it Deuteronomy 12? Look, Deuteronomy 12 and 1. This is what, even though. We are, we don't even take consideration of this. This is what we need to be doing, bro. These Deuteronomy 12 and 1. These are the statutes and rules that you shall be careful to do in the land that Yahweh your Alahim, your fathers, has given you to possess all the all the days that you live on earth. Once again, these are the statutes and the rules that you shall be careful to do in the land. That Yahweh, your Alahim, your uh, your fathers has given you to possess all the days that you live on the earth. You shall surely destroy all the places where the nations whom you shall dis dispossess serve served their gods on the, the high mountains and the hills on uh and every uh, under every green tree. You shall tear down the altars and dash into pieces their uh, their pillars and burn their ashram with fire. You shall 
chop down the carved images of their gods or their idols and destroy the name their name out of that place that mean in your heart too bro you don't get to just find out that you an israelite and drop drop one idol and pick up another one that's the same thing that's the exactly. same thing that our our ancestors kept doing. Am I not in my tree? Am I wrong, Art? Hell no. Yeah, they kept on doing that, bro. And it's like they and, they, they they don't claim to be Christians. They they debunk the Christianity religion, but hop to the same idol, the same idol. It's something I posted on my Instagram. It's the what, same person. That, it's the Hebrew the, name. It's the, it's the same person, like Santa, like with Santa Claus. No matter if you're painting him white or black, he's not real. Same with JC. No matter if you're painting him white or black, he's not real. Scriptures already told them it ain't going to save them. Mm -hmm. So why you keep calling on it? Guess what? Tell me I'm tripping. Honestly, I think like in some type of um, in some type of way, these people are mentally and basically on some spiritually type stuff trying to trying to find something that can save them from the wrath of Yahweh because they don't have it. it they got the spirit of Esau the spirit of Esau is even though he even cried out and he sought repentance he didn't find it why because he wasn't re- he was just in his feelings crying about the shit I'm sorry I and you but you was you didn't really mean it you know, you know, it's the same thing like when you find out you got Shirah, then they tell you these lies after they showed you the passion of Christ, all of that uh, movie and stuff. Now he black and now it's more detrimental to you. Now you all up in the room. Oh, forgive our, uh, uh, what's that song? He talk about forgive our forefathers for what they did. And then like 45 seconds left of the song, he want to bring the idol and we been killed your son. Um, so now you in the room crying your eyes off, bawling out, crying in the idol name. You, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And, and you know what I'm saying? All of this crap, but, um, he ain't saved you. He ain't going to save you. And the reason why, because Yahweh said he's the only one that's going to save you, bro. And it's kind of funny because now I, 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 I bet you, bro. I bet you majority of Torah only people, they might literally believe in all of that, but I bet you they don't have is I bet you like they've been desensitized of, of, of worship because they gave it, they gave so much time and energy into that idol. They gotta build themselves back up into worship and praise of the most high. And and you know what I'm saying? Because like that shit can be, you know what I'm saying overwhelming you find that nigga ain't real and you can't take back all the tears that's uh inside your carpet because you've been crying all fucking night to this idol think he gonna save you and purge you from your iniquity so now you get out of the new testament and you gotta now you gotta ask yahweh to purge you from those iniquities and the iniquities that you was asking the damn idol to purge you from Fuck these people, bro. That's why I can't wait for Yahweh to come get us about this bitch, bro. Mm. Mm. Yeah, man. Oh, you just need to clear up everything like you prophesied in Ezekiel 36, bro. All right. Ezekiel 20, 36, 34, 37. All those go together. Oh, shit. I was finna start to put it up. You start- like my elder, you just start throwing scriptures out there. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> no, I am not, not bullshitting. We'll be on the phone, and within five minutes, the brother then gave me like 40 scriptures. I'm like, oh, all right, what, what was the first one? I don't know no more. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you die, your how, man, for that, for the wisdom, man. We all want to be like that. You feel me? Yeah, because you know, we got to, I mean. The, the idolaters want to go to First Peter and talk about, oh, contend with the faith and all of this. Well, we got to do the <laughs> Shit. All right. Um, 
All right, start uh, Ezekiel 20, 33 to, uh, to 39. Yeah. 33 to 39. All right. All right. So as I live, says you have Alahim, surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out will I rule over you. And I will bring you out from the people and will gather you out of the countries where you're scattered with a mighty hand, with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the people and there will I plead with you face to face. Like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Mitzrayim, so will I plead with you, says Yahweh Alahim. And I will cause you to pass under the rod and I'll bring you into the bond of the covenant. And, you know, Proverbs, what it says about the rod is, you know, you got to give it to your children. Right. I'll, I'll purge out from among you the rebels and them that transgress against me. And I will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn. They shall not enter into the land of Yasharal. And you shall know that I am Yahweh. And as for you, O house of Yasharal, thus says Yahuwah Elohim, go and serve you every one of his idols and hereafter also if you will not hearken unto me but pollute my kadash name no more with your gifts and with your idols for in my set apart mountain in the mountain of the height of yasharal says yahweh alim there shall all the house of yasharal all of them in the land serve me there will i accept them and there will i require your offerings and the first fruits of your oblations with all your set apart things so why are they saying that the law is done away with and like he is, you know, the offering and you know how to, there is no more Levitical order. Like he's literally asking us for the offering. They don't got, I hope you don't want me to answer it. I ain't answering until they answer it. Cause I can't never get an answer either from them. <laughs> All I get is a skull. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Look, if you how wouldn't told you right here, look, you know, hey, look, you know how Negroes like to oh my life, oh my life. Y'all would say, as I live, surely yeah, yeah, yeah. mighty man in a stretch out. He said, I'm gonna be king over you. I will, I'm going to rule over you. Yo, yeah, he he's the well, who's the king of kings? Donna Donna by Shem Yahweh. Wait, why how? <laughs> man. man. So who is this then? Who's the king, bro? I mean, come on, man. It's like scripture after script. You know, our people be like, or oh, all you want to do is try to knock out. You want to smash an idol. You want to smash. Bro, look, it ain't my fault that every time I read a chapter. Look, every single chapter in the Torah debunks the New Testament somewhere, bruh. Bro, oh. find me a Hebrew New Testament. Like, for real. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Find the Greek. That's all you're gonna find. No, some dude said that the book of Hebrews... No, nah, wait a minute. Oh, no. The Mark. book of Mark or something was written in Hebrew. I'm, bruh. Matthew, Name. they always say it's Matthew. Oh, oh, really? Matthew, huh? Oh, okay. So That's what I've been hearing when I was 17. So what's this then? And it's like, it's in Greek, bro. Right? This, it's in Greek, right? Yeah. All right. So if it's, a, so, so if it, if it was written in Greek, so... Let's deal with it. I mean, y'all, y'all already seen it. If y'all already seen a bit, seen, seen it, then then what's up with this? Why this word ain't in Hebrew in this lineage right here? This a Benjamite. This a Benjamite. This this from the line of David, from Yahweh. This JC lineage, ain't he a son of David? Wow. You should not oh wow. No, hold up. Oh, I'm tripping. Dog, oh, because you you gotta understand, I uh 
they people it, it was a common name okay it was a common name right so what's so common about this name the son Grandson of benjamin wow <laughs> a, a benjamin benjamite my elder showed me this i'm done with y'all bro oh no brother okay so that's a benjamite And and I, I hope I hope the same people that was watching yesterday that was scoped that was trying to scope I hope they watching again so I could bring the same shit out so they be like oh damn he ain't back no I'm not back I'm not moving from this scripture I mean it ain't even no scripture I'm not moving from this piece of shit right here I'm not moving nowhere past it bro Matthew one. Born in Bab born in Babel. Oh, the head of the tribe of what? Judah. Explain it. Y'all explain it. Right now. Somebody, right now. Can you give me anything that they could say? Possibly, please. I'm shaking my head no. Uh -uh. Oh, I uh, no no, hold up. I got it. No, God, please, no! 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 Yes, your idol's fake, bruh. Your idol's fake. You said that you believe in the one that uh Paul said that you gotta you gotta believe that he died, rose on the third day, all of that. And right here, he told you, let's say what? The son of David, right? So, deal with that, bro. Why is there a Benjamite in the line of David? Get on fucked up now! And, and to this day, they'll never say nothing, bro. That's how you shut their ass up. Are you trying to debate? I'm not trying to debate, brother. I just want to know if you can explain this to me. I, okay, I, I'll give you three months. Come back in three months and give me an explanation. They ain't got nothing, bro. You just got an idol in your heart. I'm done. And also in the lineage, like... Man, I didn't. I didn't found a lot of different sources outside of the, the Bible, like these New Testament apocrypha, saying that JC was not a, an immaculate conception. So is he? Is he the seed of a man, or is he the seed of, you know, the so-called creator of the so-called Holy Spirit? And then also, like, if the Most High condemned fallen angels from going into into women, why would he do the same thing to Mary? to make a so-called immaculate conception stop it they can't oh I, okay look so the word is the camps wind it up trying to they 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 threw that shit in there and told people well yeah yeah the catholics they made the doctrine of the immaculate conception no they didn't Y'all lied on them. That story is about Mary. Not about JC, bruh. Oh. Alright. I know I spelled it like that. Okay, I was just making sure. Uh, I can't That's see your right. screen. Let's do it.
so now she the now she the mother of John, right? Oh, <laughs> Mary of Rome. Mary, what's 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 going on? Huh? Oh, uh, Rivera. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, you son, you sneaky son of a bitches, y'all. Oh, so who who the rebellious people are? Huh? Man, this is sad to see. What? Mo? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 really? So how was how was Mary a Roman Christian, bruh? Oh, brother, well, that's a different Mary. Well, Christianity wasn't even supposed to be around when he was supposed to, because y'all said, oh, Christ didn't create Christianity. Well, apparently Mary did. Or is the name Came from Egypt. From where? Came from Egypt. Oh, 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 okay. There it is. You got. You just pass it. Um. Direct me to it. I'm over here. Uh, right right here. here. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Get the crap out of the damn face. The, the uh. I hate these people, man. They be doing everything to try to distract me. Oh, okay, here we go. Anyway, hey, look, bro. Derived from the ancient Egyptian language, Miri is believed to be beloved or love. Oh, Shalawan, beloved. But that they don't they like saying that shit? In the, uh, don't they like Shalawan, beloved? Aqua. Oh, okay. Mary, Miri, originated from the ancient Egyptian language, has a profound meaning. The term Mary refers to a person who is highly regarded and beloved. The name has been associated with qualities such as kindness, compassion, and open heart, yet this and yo, oh, the uh, never mind, I ain't gonna go there. I know I know one person named Mary in that book that was was really really open but she you know she was able to work but what what about what about that incident in exodus where it's where it talk about if a man can get caught lying with another man's woman and they and she consented well i know you heard this but i say this because i'm I'm Mary's child. It, imagine a child Mary. No, wait a minute. That wasn't it. Yeah, there you go, right here. Ancient references to the name Mary can be tracked back to the same thing uh, all over again. Mary was sometimes used as a short form of the names what? Admin, nope, or whatever. Amen, basically. The same, uh, you know, you know what y'all like to say. Y'all like to say amen, right? At the end of your prayers. Amen. Hello? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Check what I just sent you on Discord. All right. You, you see what I'm saying? Uh, I was talking to uh, his will. Check what I just said. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Dang. Alright, hold on. All right, give me a second. All right. Man, phone be actually sometimes. Are you able to pull up on your uh, computer? Hey, I, I don't know. I don't know who watching right now, but Shalawami, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Well, 
it, well, I can say, Shal- I, I'll say, Shalom, yeah, your book says you can't say that, you can't say, uh, wish peace, but I see y'all. All right. Okay. Hey, all right. Hey, send that in the uh in the private chat. I could just download it and um pull it up from my right, computer. computer. Cause I, I don't want to go into Discord in my in my computer because this motherfucker, this thing is shut down on us. Y'all be like, why why bro just in the live like that? I don't know why I could have sworn I had that. Right. Um, Try that link. Okay, cool. Okay. Is that one link? Yeah, it's just one link. Okay. Click on that. Hey, if anything malfunction, y'all just hold on and just hold it down. If I wind up getting booted out or something, just hold it down, all right? All right. Yeah, that link will just have you download it onto your computer and you can just open it. Okay. What the fuck just happened? This? The fuck? It's a media player? What the fuck is going on? Is it working? Like it was a TikTok, so Oh, it's a okay, yeah, okay, so it was. Um I thought it was a mistake. I clicked out of it. My bad. I cause I it went to a, a media player. Yeah. That's how it opens for me too. Cause it's a TikTok. And and like it's about Mary. Okay, okay. All right. All right, so I like, apologize about that. You gotta turn down the sound. You gotta turn down the sound. Yeah. What the hell just happened? What the- <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Now you see this, right? Okay, nah, there we go. Just see you, right? All right, hold on. Give me a second. All right. Yeah, there it is. You see that? Okay. All right. I don't know if I don't know if the sound gonna be cut gonna, gonna be on because I cut it off. I, I have my speakers up, so you don't, you don't gotta play the video because that's it. Like that's the only like it's just the image, you know. So you don't have to play the video. <laughs> but that's it. Like. Oh okay. Just the just the just the you know the. The symbolism, man, that that's been right in front of people. Bruh, wait, 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 wait. Fuck out of here! What the fuck is going, bruh? <laughs> yep. Bruh. That was my words when I first saw this shit. <laughs> yeah, remember when I said that to you a few months ago, bruh? <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember. The Virgin Mary's iconography has been vaginal symbol for centuries without being noticed white girl go white girl go what that that's what's going on that's oh wow i'm done well, well i can't say white idol. girl because <laughs> oh man 
that takes Smash Now to a different level, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's over with. Nah, for I'm real, done. bro. I'm done with this. And then man. you got the and you. And then I heard these brothers talking this stuff about oh, oh, black men being with white women and they want man. Don't nobody want to be with them, bro. I ain't being no asshole or nothing, but um, the the last time I checked, Mary was well before she was well, before she was white. She was black, but now she white again. But but no, I guess she gonna. God damn, now she black again. <laughs> I'm done, bro. I don't know. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's see what we can find up in this mug. Oh, nah, well, there's, there's some company stuff. It's cool. But the, I just showed y'all, look. Y'all see that, right? Mm -hmm. So, how how is you brothers... How y'all how y'all gonna refute the fact that the virgin, right? All her oh I oh I I wonder I wonder how they gonna try to depict the black one, bro. She probably gonna be busting it open and all. Ah man. Ah <laughs> oh, oh, hell, they done messed. They started messing with my damn computer. I just sent you a link. This is what the this is what the elder was talking about in, in the live a few hours ago. All right, hold on. You said uh, it's in the chat. It's in. The chat. Yeah. All right, give me a second. They starting to do stuff on my computer. I'm starting to lose my uh, what's the names? I don't see my stream guard right now. The fuck is going on? Can we put this over here? Um, it's loading. It's loading. Out. This the uh the Mary, Mary mother in the. Yeah. Okay. Give me a second, bro. I'm close out some of these tabs before this damn computer start acting, uh, crashing and stuff. Y'all know how it, bro. I, I ain't, I ain't got no money, bro. So I'm, I'm holding on to everything I got, bro. So shit, I don't know what mighty men of you, how y'all know that, that can help a brother out with shit. Mm. Okay. All right. And no, I ain't asked for no cash app, y'all. Never see that shit up. Well, y'all will see it one day, hopefully, but it ain't gonna be to be asking for nothing. Right. You got a specific part out? Nah, but you just see like just like if you were to Shit. skim through the whole thing, you know, just the link between uh the Egyptian deities, you know. If you're just like yep. skim read it. It's like nah, here, I can read it. We're gonna do this. You you ain't gotta read it. We gonna do this. We just sit back and fast. It's it's a decent. They could sit back and read it. Yeah, they can pause the <laughs> video. What? Yeah. You can just pinpoint as you, as you skimming. You could just pinpoint so I just don't go go to it. And, and okay, the hijack is saying here in the second. It's very possible that the name Mary is derived from the Egyptian Mary, but the pro like the problem for Jesus mid So it's like, it's like when you read the comments here as well, you know, some people are even uh, uh, linking it up to, you know, ISIS, uh, and like how how 
how JSUS is linked to ISIS and man, it, it's just so deep, man. Like this this deity JSUS is linked to so many different mythologies all at one time. You know, Egyptian mythology and Greek mythology, and he like he's Horus and Horus and e the Egyptian deity. Uh, while he's also J Jupiter and Roman, and then Zeus and Greek and Serapis, and like they had many Christs in the Greco Roman um, pantheon and stuff, you know. So, like, Christ is just such a generic term to them, to, to the pagans, so to the heathens. Yeah, wow. Huh. Look at this. When a worshiper wanted to describe their adoration, they would just they would address their deity as Mary, whether that was Mary Isis or Mary Ra or whatever the mighty one is. Mary is a generic Bruh. term. <laughs> hey, we was on the same. I literally I was clicking on it as you were saying it. We was on the same shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so there y'all go. And so once again, it show y'all that y'all rebellious as hell. Is you you rebellious Israelites, y'all idolatrous rebellious Israelites are still being rebellious because this who y'all supposed to be worshiping. No, Esau made it made it somebody else that y'all could worship. If if he made it just this, y'all could hurry up and find it real fast because it's so simple to find. Oh well, JC, or no, well, they got a mil look. Just just as many ideologies as it when it comes to this JC dude. That means he go through every religion. You can go to that New Testament, and damn near every book has a different ideology of that same dude. Why is that? Is it because the the main topic of him is connected to ancient Egypt in the first place? Which, for some odd reason, we keep going back to every time Yahweh finna try to when it finna deliver us up out of that mug. Soon as he do. Here we go again. 2019. Oh, it's a massive people of uh, a massive amount of Israelites finding out that they are Shirah. What they go do? Back to Egypt. We go go back to Africa. I mean Egypt. What what whatever it is. Y'all go ahead and rock out, bro. My bad. <laughs> I just sent you another link, bro. I was waiting. I I, I have I had a feeling you was gonna send me another one. I'm already on it. It's just a picture. Look at that. That's that's the Egyptian one on the left, and that's you know the vagina on the right. Look, bro. Mm -hmm. It's right there. Nothing so, more. So. So guess what? When they came up to you, I told they told y'all, look, hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's go somewhere fast. Is this the open link? Where's that what's the name at? Um, okay, let me get over here with it. Um Uh, what the fuck? Um, oh, yeah. Um, all righty. <laughs> Where's the black one at? It's supposed to be popular now. Oh, damn. We can't find no black. We can't. What What happened, bro? Now, just last week, y'all was throwing them bitches all over this damn page. All right. Well, it don't it don't matter. They all they say that all oh, these rush Russian. Let's all right, just look for the. The 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 what the darkest one then? How about that? Okay, how about this one? This this supposed to be this say now this says what? 
early Russian icon of Mary and baby JC. Okay, this could this this a dark one, right? So we got this, and now we got no hold up. Where's that? This one. This, this, this. What is the problem here, bruh? Why did why is she doing the same? Egypt, Rome, Edom, or wh whoever they are. Hello? It's you. What what's it's right here. Why is you you know, and that's how you know these people. Never mind. I was going to get explicit. It's cool. <laughs> what were you about to say, right? I'm, I'm curious. No, nothing. Nothing. You know what I was going to say. These people, they, they, they trifling, bro. Okay, I found it, bro. I found a, I found a the Russian one. Uh, here, go to, go to 38 seconds in this video. 38 seconds. Okay. Shit, this YouTube. Oh man. Okay. 38 seconds. Yeah, 38 seconds on a dot. There we go. Right there. Hold on. There we go. There you have it. Mm. <laughs> you got you got Damn. black JC. Yeah. What? 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 What they what? They gonna uh it, okay, we got that. That <laughs> all of them and that. Pick your poison. It's the same <laughs> <laughs> bruh it's the same thing look at this look at this no hold up wait a minute bruh why she dressed exactly like the everything head wrap all of that baby yep come on man y'all people y'all got an idol in your heart bruh that's what that's what it is well well you see miri it's not the same thing as Mary. Oh, oh, okay, really? See, when you're going look into the Greek, well, listen, when you look into the Greek, that's what it say, bro. This, it's like, I don't know. Like when you, okay, when you understand the history, then you know that only thing that happened was these 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 pale people, the pink pale people. They just went into Egypt after a while, took over everything. That's it. When you conquer a nation, you take their everything. You take their religion. You take everything from them. I mean, and then when you think about it, they know, well, the children of Yashara, they basically then known them since shit. Since the beginning of their nation. They can't get away from them. That's how they get us every time. Yahweh, you could read the scripture and say Yahweh, Yahweh did something very, he scattered Egypt, all of that. Here you come talking about, oh, Egypt, I'm a, I'm Kimmy. I'm, shut up, bro. You ain't Kimmy. You an Israelite that's finished, that, that, that done been delivered by knowing who you are. And then here you go. You want to go back to Egypt. That's it. So now, I mean, basically, you still give it vain praises to your idol because you're supposed to be giving it to Mary, your rebellion. Ak, Akath. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
or you can give the same praise that was bestowed within you you can give it all to the creator himself and give your life only unto Yahweh and understand that he is your redeemer and he is your savior and besides him there's no one else or you can just continue in your ways we in a moment sooner or later first kings 18 gonna happen bruh either you gotta you gonna choose your idol or you gonna choose your house that's it it ain't nothing else bruh hey bro read isaiah 42 and 8 Isaiah 42 and 8. You gotta start at seven. You gotta start at six. I, All right. I am I am Yahweh. I have called you in righteousness. I will take you by the hand and keep you. I will give you as a covenant for my for the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners of the from the dungeon, from the prisons, those who sit in darkness. I am Yahweh. That is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to carved idols like these. Mm -hmm. Or like this. Uh, that one too. I don't give my praise. He don't give his praise to this one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That one or that one. Or any of these. Any of these. Who all yeah, I'm I'm gonna be uh over exaggerating and I'm gonna keep highlighting. None of them. It's Yahweh, Yahweh Kai. He who exists and he who creates alone. Not Miri and Mary and the mother of Savior and JC and he's the only Savior but how is he your Savior bruh and he can't even he don't exist anyway but how how could he be your Savior when he if he couldn't save himself first of all and he would have had a Savior but Yahweh said I'm gonna rule over you and I'm going to be your king. On oh, my life. But then y'all go to y'all. Y'all go to Isaiah 42 and 9. Behold. The former things have come to pass. And the new things. I now declare. What's the new things? Oh. The New Testament. Oh really? So. So she she didn't exist until the New Testament, huh? Stop, man. Bro, I, I got nothing else to say, bro. Like, like that vagina pick, and then the 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 link to Egypt. Like that's it, bro. And then you you showed it up in the in the Greek concordance. Their rebellion, they rebelling, rebellion against the Most High. Psalms eighty three, they're confederate against the children of Yasharal to wipe out the name of Yasharal. Whoa. Because they know, they know that through idolatry we fall. That's messed up, man. Yeah. And they call Christianity. A peaceful religion. Yeah. Meanwhile, man. there's been so many wars fought, all these crusades and all that. Talking about peaceful. Okay, okay. That's another thing, like the scriptures tell us, you know, um not to follow the follow the ways of the heathen. Mm -hmm. You know, it, even even if we can't 
we don't have the resources to to find out and this and this we still just got to look at the simple fact of the ways that they gave us once you once you get past those bro you you know what the word set apart mean it basically mean being racist let these people tell it are you right no 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 you want to call me racist but i'm saying i'm not supposed to be aligning myself with you i, well, I ain't saying don't don't be around them i'm saying stop don't do what they do because what they do is worship idols everything is an idol i went to um what was that like last week i went to go get the car wash get one of the car wash and i look over and this damn hispanic brother he take you supposed to be washing the car why is you washing the car and you taking pictures of the car <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you is that is that car your idol Come on, brother. People can't worship cars. Oh, okay. Talk about the Hellcats, JD. <laughs> yeah. They lust after them cars. Like, it looks good. It sounds good. You're like, damn, I want that car. I want it. I don't care if I got to take a life over it. I want it. Talk about the new Hellcat. I don't want no car. It, it looked nice. I bet it's faster than the motherfucker. I don't want. I I can't have no car called Hellcat, bro. Yeah, bro. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, come on, y'all being religious, man. It's just a name. Well, you write you write Hellcat and ask them can they change the name, bro? <laughs> Let's see how religious they get. Man, hey, look. What is it? Okay, yeah. All right, so look. Make sure y'all, brother. Well, well, you know, y'all, y'all just stay in the chat when we we about to. Uh, I'm about to end this mug unless y'all, you know, what I'm saying. Nah, that's all good, bro. All right, but yeah, y'all make sure y'all stay in, so you know, what I'm saying we can we can chop up a couple couple minutes and I, uh, you know, what I'm saying. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, man. Look, I don't know what else people got going on. Yeah, hey, y'all, y'all go ahead and give y'all uh closing remarks real fast. Right? Yeah. So like, again, this idolatry, it has to end. Starting with this. Jebus idol, Yahweh Shai, Yahusha. Like I said before, don't matter what color you give them, it's still an idol. It's all about keeping the commandments. Torah only. Psalms 119. That whole that whole chapter of Psalms is about Torah. David wrote that for Torah because Torah is the way, the truth, and the life. Not no, not no man. Not no man. And again, that with that eclipse, like again, like it, like it, like what you said. All uh, right, like it's nothing wrong with stocking up for food. It's nothing wrong with preparing for what's to come. But again, like if you keep Torah, if you serve your Hawa only, right? You're all good. You're all good. Because he's your provider. Yeah, he said over and over he's going to gather us from the nations and bring us back into the land. You'll be fruitful and multiply and you'll have, you know, you, I'm going to increase the grains. So I'm, you know. Right. He got us. And I'm going to take the idols out of your heart. That's what he said in Ezekiel 36. Mm -hmm. Remove you. Remove your heart stone. Right?
I'll give you a new heart. I pay you, 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 you brought up a scripture. I had to bring it. Sorry. Yeah. Um. A new heart. That's um. That's like verse twenty six. Yeah. Twenty five. Oh, twenty six. I was looking at. Okay. Ezekiel 20, uh, 36, 26. A new heart also will I give you. Not wait a minute. You you already know I what always, I'm gonna say. I always say, like, go from 22 to 32. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Kind. 30, uh, 36, Ezekiel 36, 22. Therefore say unto the house of Yasharal, thus says Yahweh Alahayim. I do not, or or Salah Salah Alahayim, or uh, Alawan Yahweh, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Yasharal, but for my Kordas Sham sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, rather you went. And I will sanctify my great Sham, which was per, which per, which was profane among the heathen, which you have profaned in the midst of them, and the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh, says Alawan Yahweh. When I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes, for I will take you from among the heathen and gather you from all na all countries and will bring you into your own land. Then I will sprinkle water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols. I will, will I cleanse you from all of your idols. <laughs> a new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will make I will take away the stony heart of your flesh and I will give you a heart of flesh wow. and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you shall keep my judgments and do them and you shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers and you shall be my people and I will be your Allah. I will also give uh, what say I 32, 20, I guess. 32. Okay, my yeah. bad. I will also save I will also save you from all your uncleanness uh, uncleanlinesses 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 <laughs> It's crazy I rap it's crazy I rap fast but I can't I can't say tongue twisting words while I'm reading and I will call for the corn I will decrease it and lay no famine upon increase, you increase Damn I said decrease yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. I, know, I got to go back to 28 then. And you shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and you shall be my people, and I will be your Allah. I will also save you from all your uncleannesses, and I will call for the corn and will increase it and lay no famine upon you. And I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the, and the increase of the field that you shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Then shall you remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good and shall loathe yourselves in your, man, bruh, you right. your heart, bro. you in your out. own sight for your iniquities and for your uh, abominations. Not for your sake do I do this, says Alawan Yahweh, be it known to, unto you, be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, O Bayab Yashaal. Thus says Alawan Yahweh, in the day that I shall, shall have cleansed you from all your iniquities, I will also cause you to dwell in the cities, and the waste shall be builded. So that verse 32, where he's saying, uh, were you saying that you're going to remember your abominations and you're going to loathe yourselves for it? And that's after he gathers us and puts us back in the land, right? But imagine us doing that right now and we feel like sad about us like being once in the idol and now coming to y'all only. So imagine how much even more when we are in the land, you know, how much we'll loathe ourselves even then in the future. That's, um... That's part of like actually um, thinking about how to be righteous. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Thinking about how 
not to be wicked. Yeah, man. You get <laughs> cause you now this not Jeremiah 31 just yet. So we know that this is a process that's gonna happen, right? Because it says it says, uh, where is that? Uh where's say yeah. Then you shall remember your own evil ways, because we know in Jeremiah 31, we won't remember that stuff and won't nobody have to teach you how we we'll all know it. So this yeah. is a process. So it says, yeah, you should remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good and loathe yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities and for your abominations. That means you're going to be like low key, basically embarrassed in the sight of Yahweh that you've been doing these things, even if you didn't know you weren't supposed to do them. Do you know what that means? That means you sift in the way the pride that's within you. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what it say. Low. I know people are gonna get they gonna get tired of me doing this. I don't care. This is what I this this is how not only do I study, but this is how I, I cut all the crap, all the crap, bull crap people to be grieved, bro. Hey, You're right. supposed to do the idols. Go ahead. I, I was just gonna say that my Akira Yan Dun, he know exactly I do the same exact thing. I read every mm -hmm. single verse with it too. <laughs> all right. You got yeah. It, it well, it just tell you to be grieved. That don't mean right. you go around and you just well, what happened, bro? Well, you for two weeks straight, bro. What happened to you at work? You all at work crying and man, you know. I, I mean, if that's what you, if that's what's on your heart, then yeah. But that don't mean that. That just means you gotta have a. You need to go to Yahweh and think about the things that you done did. Man, not dead serious. Y'all, I ain't the only person. I, I probably the I'm probably the only person on this panel right now that did more wickedness than y'all. Cause I'm probably older and I didn't y'all got more understanding than I had when I was younger. You feel me? But I didn't did abominations before. I and I think about God, that I, I oh damn. I do remember when I did that. Fuck. Just when I thought I just when I thought I had it all together, and it, and the reason why we gotta always what it say, you rem you will remember. Right, it's the process. Yeah, and and, and verse thirty two, not for your sakes, Yasharal does he's gonna do it, but for his name's sake. Come. It's for his name's sake. So yeah. like people waking up to the fact that they are Yasharal. I'm melanated. I'm a, I'm a Hebrew Israelite or whatever, and even then, the Most High saying, "So what? Like it's for my name's sake." Uh -huh. Like I'm looking at that uh that um video, the Russia video, and I'm looking at the comments, and people are like, "Oh, I'm so glad to be black. God created <laughs> me to be black," and I'm just like, "Why? Because because like the Russians, you know, wanted to come up with come out with these idols that are melanated, you know?" Yeah. No, no. <laughs> hey, look, but look. You know, like I do, who gives who who cares if the idol's so called black? Yeah, y'all right, forgot right. Ham is black, so called black too. And remember <laughs> where all of that stuff come from? Ham in Egypt. Yep. They literally telling the Israelites, "Hey, this is the God that delivered you out of out of Egypt." It's the same damn thing. The in the I ain't, I ain't finna go there. Y'all can go, bro. I ain't finna go there. I was on. I was finna go on the rampage. But I'm cool. <laughs> I'm done now, bro. <laughs> I'm done too. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, this was a this was a Baraka, man. I, I think the the father that we could uh, smash an idol, like destroy this stuff, because it's really plain, man. Like when you go into the scriptures, like it's pretty plain. At least to me, and I don't, I don't understand how, you know, 
all of us have the same exact books and they and they would they were to look into this the same way that we're looking into it and like you pulled it up literally you know and they're still gonna reject that i, I don't i don't get it man like there's some blinders on them i don't even think it's cognitive dissonance at this point no like, it's, it's jeremiah 44 that's what it is jeremiah 44 bro that's what it is Right. You feel me? We read it earlier. They yeah, don't want yeah. they gonna do ever is what whatever goes out of their own mouth, that's what they gonna do. But as for the words of Yahweh, we would not do what Yahweh said do. Oh, okay. But them the them the same spirits though that you can see that'd be like, well, if He's real, then why did this happen? Why would that happen? Why? Well, because you said that you're going to do whatever comes out of your own mind and your own mouth, bro. You don't want to be a righteous person. It don't look. The only thing it takes to be righteous is uh, effort and consistency, bro. Yeah, man. You, don't, you can't be righteous one day and be like, oh, I made a video. And I debunked the New Testament. It had over 70,000 views. All right. I'm good now. No, no, no. Because even in your private life, you still got to be doing it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 25-8. And yeah, you might make mistakes. Like, But Proverbs says a righteous man, he going to stumble seven times and keep getting back up. But the wicked will just fall into it continuously. Yep. But Marvin Sapp told you, we fall down, but we get up, we fall down. And then niggas just, they, 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 they put the spell on you. And now you think you can, you can, oh, I denounce the idol. I come back to the idol. I denounce the idol. I come back to the idol. I come back. You, it don't matter where you go. You going to be, the idol going to be right there. You can leave the Bible. You can say, I'm I'm done with the new and the old testament. I'm done with everything. Okay. What well, they was done with Yahweh too. So you it, it don't matter. You still in idolatry. Yeah. Right. Look, all, all I'm gonna say to y'all, I'm gonna say all I'm gonna say to say, whoever listening to this. One thing that you need to do for sure. Stop thinking people are after you and understand that we only here for one thing. We ain't here to exp exposing the wickedness is just part of the process. We don't want to do this. If if it was like if I was in the streets, I see you and I, when I when I when I if I when I was on some wicked shit, I seen somebody in the streets I didn't like. I ain't gonna help them. I seen them doing finna do some shit. Or I where well, I see the brother finna go rob his sister. I ain't finna say nothing to him. That's that dude. Not knowing, according to the law, if we was in a land and he got caught doing it, even though I seen him, I would have been on the chopping block just right along with him because I didn't warn him to tell, don't do that, bro. So our people, so when you when you see different people up here and they getting on your idol, don't, don't be trying to get mad at them. You get mad at the idol. We ain't scoffing nobody. All we trying to do is tell you, smash an idol. Smash an idol, man. How a cod, man.